Forget about the curveball, Ricky. Give him a heater. Beaver, <laughs> um, <laughs> he's back from starring in that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, Beaver, you want to preview your, uh, your, your voice? Your first impression right that here. you've learned. It's going to be a great show. <laughs> Beaver's going to be whispering the entire show. Beaver, you sound like a complete fag. <laughs> I appreciate that. This Can't is highly that. inappropriate. Maybe. Uh, we're back. Here Every we week I get nervous. Try not to remember repeat it. not the double click. Try so not to. Okay, I'm gonna try it this week real hard, but see, I am, see I am under it. the influence. I believe in you. Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. You're listening to highly inappropriate. I don't think she's gonna be expecting something big, do you? What like anal? Whiskey, beer, tequila, more beer, more vodka, more whiskey, and more beer. Highly inappropriate. All right, so let me get this straight. So I'm going to pay for a blowjob, and I got to pay for a goddamn hotel room, too? <laughs> yeah, well, that so just seems it. like I'm spending oh, too much money for nothing. I got a house. You can just get your ass over here, and I can just do the blowjob here. <laughs> Highly inappropriate. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? They can kiss my oh, fat awesome. jack, because I'm bringing the motherfucking bag. What up? We are back. It's highly inappropriate, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you're listening live, what's up? What's up? Yeah. We've, we've got, hey, we've got one of our members back. Uh, next week, we will have everybody back, including Mikkel. Uh, but Beaver, welcome back, buddy. You've had an eventful couple weeks, which we're going to get into today. I did. I did. It was definitely the best two hey, weekends. Beaver, speak up. I, I, I'm, I'm doing the best I can here. <laughs> Folks, I'm, I'm I'm really trying. Okay, I promise. Beaver, the, the audience cannot hear you. You have to. Uh, so Beaver lost his voice in Kansas City. We're going to cover that uh, a plenty today. A plenty, a plenty, a plenty. But <laughs> not just Kansas City. This this fool went to the Chiefs game and then and the Cardinals game yeah, on the way back. It worked out perfectly. I I couldn't ask for anything better than that right there. Uh, great games. And, great but games. Oh, yeah. by the way, the guy talking to my left, your name is. Chris Duncan. I don't know how long I will be alive. Uh, but we're pretty sure that Chris got bit by a brown recluse. Like I just and his arms, here. his arm, his arm is. Uh, yeah, what happened here? Describe Currently on fire. Guys. Like I felt like a heating sensation. He's got a huge arm. like bulge. Yeah, it's like a burn, almost like an Indian burn. Like when you would is uh, is that racist? Indian burn? Yeah, I don't think it is. Whatever. Where you like take care. your hands and go back and forth real real fast, and it like burns you. I, that's you know how you about? masturbate. That's how I masturbate. Yeah, I go Indian ahead. burn my dick. Oh, I do all the time. You gotta Maybe use lube though. Oh, that is why it does. Yeah. That might be. Did you jizz on your forearm it earlier? Is. I don't know. I'm gonna guess with this much much alcohol <laughs> you drank in your life, it I would not surprise me that either A, your kids are retarded, or B My kids. Yeah. Thank God I, don't, I didn't yeah, yeah. procreate. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine if I procreated, dude. No, I wouldn't because I your your kid would be out here just kicking over the camera and shit. He would probably show. be in the NBA <laughs> and have a platinum record. Oh bullshit. I would push him, dude, real he, hard. He'd be 13 wanting to be a rapper. <laughs> How and what age would he finally realize how like much he hated me? Four, ten, ten, four. probably. No, a, a little kid, he would probably like it. Yeah, he probably gets out of the. I'd say, I'd say by ten, him. one day he goes to church with mom after the divorce. No church. Like, he ain't going to church. Yeah, maybe with mom after the divorce. You know, because yeah. I'm gonna be honest with all the girls that all the, my serious relationships I've been in, almost all of them have turned to God after we broke up. Yeah, like. <laughs> Like we don't go. I'm to, not sure we, what that means. But our, our family can't that's afford. A true story, by we the way. can't afford to go to church. I can definitely see. You can't afford to tithe. Yeah, I can't afford a religion. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford a religion. Yeah, I can't afford an offering. I can definitely play. see your child coming right out of the womb and start crying his eyes out after he looks at you in the face. That's <laughs> when he's gonna hate you. Well, what was the joke I had in the roast? I said something along the lines of, "Your dad was excited to be a father." And he he saw me. <laughs> Like, how fucking ugly you were. Dude, this hair. I, it looks like I have a coonskin hat on top of my head. <laughs> Where do you your, your your mom's got the like curly hair too, doesn't she? Oh, uh, me and my mom had the same. But uh, she's a female, so she can make it look cool. Oh, like, she is? Thanks yeah. for thanks for thanks for telling me. But I that. can't, <laughs> you know, because I'm just me. I'm dunk ma'am, but yeah. Dunk ma'am. <laughs> she's ma'am. a female. You they used just to call me fur like. in high school. Fur? If you are, yeah. Because my hair. Dunk with the fur. It's, I mean, it's, it's ugly, like a fur. You like got an ugly ass fro, though. I mean, it's legit an animal. It could like it feels like a dead, like an animal. When are you bringing back the fro? Yeah. Uh, I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> can you knot nothing on the top? No, yeah, it's for sure. It's I still can see all there. It. Yeah, the hair's all there. The sides it's go just, back a little farther. It's but. just yeah, it's just not as uh, <laughs> not as plentiful. 
I was, you know, I was going back. I was going through old Facebook photos the other day, and I just watched my hair just fade. Like <laughs> you can, yeah. So you can tell. What like, do you mean? You can tell like the hair going and going. And it's going. crazy. It started like nineteen because I remember being nineteen and we were going to spring break. We went to uh, South Carolina to meet a couple buddies in Myr- Myrtle Beach, and. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but somebody was in the back seat taking pictures of me, like or of us in the front. Seat. Me, me and Beaver in the front seat. Beaver was driving my car. I used to have a Buick Century. Had a fucking like the best system you've God, ever heard. God, that was so awful. <laughs> I would love it. The man, loudest man. speakers. I would ever. ride with you and play my mixtape every uh, time I got in. Being in the back of that was awful because so i would like literally i remember one time i i took two uh friends up north uh, before i cut my own story out there but i took two friends up north to concert to fort wayne and i listened to dope who is a you know, real heavy metal band i would call them psych metal they're kind of like Marilyn manson so you use your subs for for metal oh everything i no use rapper a, no anymore. rapper for sure jeezy any jeezy back in the day was on my was bumping I got nelly you. old nelly dude old nelly bumps like a motherfucker i bet they went over well in morristown Oh, they have a noise ordinance because of me. <laughs> Literally, that's a true story. Like, yeah, that you, had, ball, it. That you had it when we went to Virginia, right? Yeah. Because I remember, I don't know if it was me. Yeah, or we you. ran out of gas because remember my gas gauge was broken. All I knew is I had to fill up my tank every 300 miles. Well, I was, so, I was going with uh, Nick. Nick was in the back. Uh, old Who's friend Nick? And, uh, oh, and I blew his speakers. He out. was he was pass pass the heck out. We were driving late as hell. He was pass the heck out. Matt just turns it up for I don't know what song it was. I feel like it was two weeks. Uh, from, two weeks by uh, um, yeah yeah shit. Yeah. All the remains. Yeah, all the remains. Yeah. And the dude jumped up faster than anything I've seen before. <laughs> it was. It was. So you don't understand. Weird. Like, yeah, of course, rap sounds really good in there, but metal sounds incredible on fucking. Just imagine. My uncle. Just, my just, uncle had subs in a Camaro in the eighties. Oh, probably. It was all rock. Yeah, uh, and it was. It sounded great. Yeah, I mean, bass. You don't realize bass and rock is. You need it to. Obviously. Oh, absolutely. But rap is just over the top. Yeah, over the, the top. Bass. The one thing I don't like about some rap songs is is the bass is so heavy you can't even hear what they're saying. Yeah, but I mean that's what people want, right? When, when you know when you're hitting the streets. So did they have like a town meeting and they were like, yeah, the little, the little fat balding guy with the subs. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, who? You know the one? He's kind of going bald. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, the Buick Century. No, <laughs> no, I was just told like uh, when they when they uh, brought this into the town council meeting that, that it was brought up that that my subs and my parties were just yeah. need to stop. We need to stop. Yeah. We'll at least need to put a cap on them. Awesome. Turn the music down after 11. All right, <laughs> All right let's start the show. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do want to uh, go back to the story about me balding. Is 19, my, somebody, one of my buddies took a, a picture in the back seat of my car, and you could see it just it, it's starting just, to go. Just starting a little thinner, and it's yeah. just slowly gotten thinner. I had a buddy I went to high school with, and we used to call him Beautiful B. Old Brian. He'd just slay it, dude. He was a slayer. And uh, he started seeing it going, and he he grew the hair out, yeah. but he didn't have the fro like he he had the like Ashton Kutcher, you know, like grow out hair, and yeah. he just slayed it in his early twenties. But once it started going, going, he currently does the, and, the and shave. And that's what you do too now. And honestly, when I started shaving my head completely bald, it had nothing to do with the fact that I was balding. It had to do with there was a kid in Morristown who had cancer. He was like four or five years old. His name was Ben, and the whole town had their head shaved yeah. for him, you know, like it was to raise money to help his family with medical cost and to show support for the kid. Uh, so I shaved it and I got a lot of compliments on it. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to be there anyways. To do it. Yeah. My, I might as well just keep it like this. My now. buddy Ian also does the shave head. Yeah. I don't know if I, yeah, I probably would. I'm going to shave my you head would. before I look like a cre- I, the balding side thing, especially looks ridiculous on white people. The balding hair. sides, like because like, my sides are going, and what uh, don't what don't help me is that we have to wear a hat every day at work. Yeah, so, so it's I'm fucked. You're done. Is your yeah. dad? Yeah, I might just let it. Hopefully, grow. this is the only thing I inherit from my dad. We probably go. We would probably <laughs> go super. We'd probably blow up if I had a skullet. If I say over the skullet every night. If you had a what? A skullet. You don't know what a skullet is. I'm fucked up, dude. It's a, I, know I don't know skull. what I am. Right it's an now. '80s guy. <laughs> Think of an '80s guy with a mullet, and he goes bald. So like a bald head with a oh. mullet back, a skull. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured you like that. You would look like the yeah. fucking messed out Hulk Hogan. You guys chase Elliot this weekend, boys. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's start the show. I'd be like, hey, Beaver, we gotta stop. 
doing a podcast with this dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So where was that picture at? So we have a picture of Beaver. We're going to get into Beaver's weekend. I do have a quick story to tell before we get into your weekend, though. It's it's Go hilarious. So yesterday at the gym, I'm doing deadlifts, and I fuck my back up. And I'm an idiot because I just am. I'm a meathead, and I think if I don't lift heavy that day, that I'm going to lose something. So, like, I decided that even after I kind of tweaked my back a little bit, it wasn't hurting, like, horribly, but it was enough where I'm like, okay, like, I'm a twitch away from really fucking being in pain for a couple of days. <clears throat> yeah. I, was, I decided to throw 10 pounds on both sides and, you know, up my weight a little bit. And I said, I'll just take it slow, relax, you know, easy reps, because it was lighter weight for me. And I, I decided to do five more reps, about three in. I realized that I had fucked up. My back was completely fucked. I go get one of the foam rollers. I kind of roll my back out. Still fucked. I was like, shit. You know, I'm like, I'm only halfway through with my workout. I end up doing a few things after that that didn't use many back. Dirty hit you quick. Well, my point I was getting is I, sh- I wake <laughs> up the next day. My back is fucking killing me in the morning. I feel like I want to hit the pin, but I don't. <laughs> why did <laughs> like you work. why'd you show up and not get on the Neva? I because I have one of my own now. You have this? You yeah, finally. One? Not not that, but it's a different different version. Mine's better, isn't it? No, yours is definitely newer, but mine's like more like gym ish. I bought the baller. Version. Yours is the home version. Yeah. Mine's the gym version, but you have the newer. I'm like comfort. Yeah, comfort. Yeah. comfort. Yours is built. Mine's built for speed. Yours is built for comfort. Yeah. People that don't know, we're talking. <laughs> we have. We both have uh, inversion, inver- tables. inversion tables. Inversion tables. Yeah, inversion yeah. tables. And, and if a, you don't have one, it's a fucking now. lifesaver. It's oh my so, gosh, it's amazing. I come home from work every now and then. Oh, I do it I, every when morning. When I drive home, it's a forty minute drive, and yep. I kick my shoes off on the way home. Yeah. Leave them off. Open the garage door. Come in. I get on that thing first thing a lot of times. Uh, funny you say that so speaking of my back is i i did this when i got home from work today and my back hurt so bad like that i had a pro i had problems getting back up i was almost freaking out but luckily i have enough arm strength to pull myself up but i could not squat i could normally just squat myself up yeah, or yeah. not squat but uh sit up you know whatever crunch myself up. up but i could not today so i struggled but my, the story i wanted to tell so i woke up today my back's fucked up i get to work and uh, my buddy who sits next to me had some ibuprofen. I took some ibuprofen. I started feeling a little better. And I was I was getting up more than usual today and just kind of moving around a little bit because you know when you're when you're you know back's fucked up like this or you pulled something or strained something, you know your back likes movement more than anything. Yeah, just get up and you know move and you know don't. They keep say it when static. you when you like really totally pull it like blow it out. My stepdad's done it multiple times, like throwing it out like bad bad. Yeah. And the first thing you want to do is just not move, and it's not the the best thing to do. Like he. He literally don't sit down. Like yeah. if he throws his back out. He just takes the pain and stands the whole time and yeah. walks and don't sit down. And but yeah, that's that's what that's how you do it. Oh, yeah. it sucks right now. Like I'm feeling it. Uh, but so I took the ibuprofen and the funny thing. So to walk in when you first walk into our office or our office building, we have a staircase that kind of has goes up a place and it's got a platform that goes up. You know, I'm trying to describe this the best I can, but you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. There's like 10 steps. There's a platform that you turn and there's 10 more steps. Well, I go up the, you know, I took the ibuprofen, started feeling a little better. I go up the first set of 10 steps. And I'm sitting there like, man, you know, I'm feeling good. Let me see how, you know, if I can go to the gym later. So I start doing like air squats, you know, to see if I can, you know, if, if my back feels okay to make that type of movement. And I'm doing like five or six air squats. I'm like, man, my back feels real good. I look over to my lap. There, there's some dude just staring at me. <laughs> just fucking staring at me like, what the fuck is this asshole doing? And I look at him. I was like, ah, oh, bro, my back's fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's completely fucking awkward. But it was hilarious because this guy, I, I just w- try to put myself in this guy's mind and just think, what the fuck is this asshole doing? Because I, I, I try to roll reverse because I know exactly what I would say if, if it was me. I'd be like, I'd literally be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, Beaver, speaking of what the fuck are you doing, why do you sound like an idiot today? Because I just had an awesome little vacation right there that I had this past weekend. Uh, I've been on a vacation and never came home sounding like that. Yeah. So either you A turn queer or you've been yelling a lot. Which one is it? I don't know. But I think it was more of a, <laughs> your you reaction to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it was uh, definitely because of visiting the uh, Colts uh, at the Chiefs and sitting front row for that. And then. Right, it was about the forty-yard line, uh, right behind the Colts bench, and it was just an electric, an electric time right there. Uh, did have one Colts fan that was <laughs> sitting behind us with his wife and his like twelve-year-old son, I think, that was like just w- watching his phone the entire time. And I was, <laughs> at the game, yes, the kid was like, "Smack the fuck out of me!" I was, I was like, kid. "Oh God, what?" 
What I think I've seen a picture. Right he was it was the kid in chief stuff. No, he wasn't in chief stuff. He was just wearing a white hoodie. All right, because like, I, I the Colts posted a picture of like a dad from Columbus or something not. that went with his son, and he took his son from Columbus down to Kansas City, and he on like a Patrick Mahomes headband and like a Chiefs jersey. Yeah, I wouldn't have brought him. No, I'd be like, son. like boys, and you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna drop one sixty a ticket to take you. To take my little Chiefs <laughs> fan kid. <laughs> yeah, like one unfortunately, that, but I actually yeah. unfortunately, would've. unfortunately, my uh, daughter's stepdad is a Bears fan. And she's got my daughter liking the Bears too, and it. That's it's really disgusting. it's really annoying to me. Oh, I'm, I'm luckily I she'll get older and realize. Well, not only that, but uh, you know, if, if I go off her mom's past relationships, I don't see this lasting much longer. So. Oh, okay, <laughs> that works. That works. Yeah, that works. You know, whatever. But uh, yeah. we'll see. <laughs> but no, uh, I had to miss the last show because I was working really late. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't meet up with any lot lizards that that night. I, I apologize. Yeah, man. It, he I goes. Mean, the phones. You see were how he fucking, prefaced. The phones prefer- were blowing up. He dude. preferenced. People he wanted put, to know where Beaver was. He preferenced uh, that night when he yeah. said I didn't order any yeah, lot yeah, lizards yeah. that yeah. night. Yeah. But uh, no, I had to work really late. But ended up <laughs> ended up leaving for Kansas City on Saturday. Uh, went to, we had a stop in St. Louis so David uh, could drop his car off, and uh, we were watching the Pacer game as we were on our way. They were look they were looking nice. Uh, yeah, you were blowing up our phones by the way. The dude, Pacers man, came back they, and win. They they look like they're going to be really really fun. I'm I'm super excited for them right super now. Super athletic. <sighs> Role players, Chris, yeah. Mister Pessimistic. We're gonna God get to that. Well, we're we, gonna get we, that too. We got more to get with you. Anyway. Indy's gonna hate me, bro. Oh, I, I already, already do half the time. <laughs> more than, more you, than Carthage know. does, but <laughs> you can't tell me that they're. Oh. But no, we got in uh, Saturday evening and went out to this barbecue place and had some awesome wings with no sauce, of, of course. Uh, I know this you're... motherfucker goes to Kansas City, KC. Oh, yeah, goes to Kansas mm-hmm. City and doesn't have. Kansas City barbecue. Nope. Eats we, chicken wings. We, Which, what? Honestly, you can get smoked chicken wings. They're probably fucking amazing. But without custom like barbecue sauce, it's just not the same. No it's sauce a- at all. We met up uh, also with my cousin and uh, two of his friends that were so he def- uh, he def- there. Def- but they were, no, they all uh, were questioning me. The people that didn't know me, they were questioning me when I didn't have any sauce on my wings. Like, what's wrong with this fucking idiot? I, I've come to realize that you know what I'm You're from okay Indiana, and yeah, I'm okay with this. Everyone can question <laughs> me. I'm okay with this. You know what's crazy? He's talking about his from, food preference too, not a sexuality. Being from Indiana, but. going to other places and like getting breadsticks. <laughs> Indiana is one of the only states that serves cheese with breadsticks. Are you serious? Yeah, like if you go to Florida, it's only marinara. Like I always Tennessee was only marinara. Like cheese, like cheese is an Indiana thing. It really, I was, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad I live in Indiana. Cause yeah, because it's fucking delicious. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what I tell them every yeah. time. I was like, you guys I'll, are fucking idiots. I'm gonna eat yeah. my bread sticks with no cheese. <laughs> every marinara time. sucks. <laughs> Dude, marinara. Cheese. Like, why did they even ask? Yeah, but like, if I, I order, might as well dip my fucking breadstick on a pizza. <laughs> yeah. God damn, man. Put it between the cheese. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you three fifty <laughs> for a fucking pizza crust and pizza sauce. Fucking idiot. But yeah, where's the fucking cheese? Neighbor, you, you can't relate because you don't eat breadsticks with anything, you <laughs> asshole. But anyways, I know that you uh, brought up a little bit about your hotel situation. Oh, uh, did you have yeah. a shitty one? Uh, my my explain, hotel that I was in Louisville. Explain the picture you posted, okay? But real fast, do me a favor. Say funky Cole Medina. Fuck you, Cole Medina. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like Tone All you pretty no, ladies. No, uh, <laughs> you talked about your hotel situation being pretty shitty. Our hotel room was pretty nice, but we only had the two beds, and I was I was gonna be the nice guy, and I well, I'd be like David, sleep on the fucking ground. <laughs> it was your dad, right? What's that? You went with your dad, right? My dad and, David, and uh, the- David uh, he's a buddy of ours. Gotcha. Uh, goes to the gates. But no, I I put together a little makeshift bed where I use the chair, a footrest, and another like computer chair that was there. I just put a sheet across it, and it was not the worst bed I've ever slept in in my life. Dude. Yeah, because I think Beaver's done some in calls from uh, Backpage.com. <laughs> <laughs> He's been to a lot of meth labs on the south side of Indy. No, so it was not the worst. <laughs> so when you were when you get when you guys go into the game and stuff, did, I mean, Kansas City fans, you got what was the atmosphere like during the game? I can tell you my uh, my relationship or my experience with the Kansas City fans has been mostly. Needed. I asked Beaver. I didn't ask you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna throw. You. <laughs> I mean, he was at the game. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> 
Nah, uh, stadium parking was like <laughs> sixty. Stadium <laughs> parking was like sixty bucks. So it's we parked. One. We parked outside of the stadium for like twenty something bucks and just drank a shit ton in there after already drinking for the entirety of the day already. I mean, were they there. cool? I mean, uh, the Chiefs fans they were definitely cool. Expect they had this attitude of. We're gonna beat the piss out of you, so yeah. you know. Go back, to Andy. Yelling, you yeah, fucking pussy. Nah, the of, shit we yell at them when they come to Andy. None of them were disrespectful <laughs> at all before the game. They were all cool as shit. Like I said, they thought they were gonna kick the dog shit out of us. So they're like, "Hey, you know, thanks for thanks for paying your money uh, here for this ass whooping." That's so you, you were right next, right behind the bench, right? I was right behind the bench. Did you get any like player reactions? Did you like let's none, go fifty four? None, none of the players came in close to the wall. They all stayed in front of the bench. But, I mean, the you, entire you time. were yelling. Oh yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, I did get Robert Mathis. Uh, the what's up? Yeah, I did get him. He's uh, the he's the best but dude. The rest of them, I couldn't get any react. Uh, actually, Ebron, <laughs> Ebron did. I did get a reaction from him. Oh, once. I got to give a shout out to somebody in the chat feed. Jake Sim says he wanted to drop his car off in St. Louis because you wanted to come back to it on blocks or what's up with that? <laughs> no shit. You, as all my places brother, St. Louis. Way. Oh, it is. Yeah. What's up, bro? No, he listens to the show. He bought a shirt too. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. I, have, I dropped... haven't seen the money for that yet, bro. Yeah. It's whatever. I bought a fucking vape pen. But... <laughs> David David did drop the car off at somebody that w- me and Dad personally know. We yeah. he did drop a car off at their place, but <laughs> yeah, we so, know Beaver. Yeah, so, it was some African American man at Walmart at a gas station. So no, uh, so leading up to the game, you know, it's it's getting pretty loud, especially in the introduction. It's just the it's it's I hate to say this, but it's definitely louder than uh, Lucas still gets. Oh, it's one of the. Oh no, shit! Oh, yeah. I mean, we were arguing b- before the game. Was it before what, the game? Before the podcast? Remember, was there. it louder than the RCA dome used to get? Uh it it was up there. Damn, and we even pumped noise in. <laughs> exactly. The RCA dome was deafening, bro. Uh, we pumped. I don't think noise. we did. Yes, we did. Why regardless do you already of, fought over this? I know. <laughs> regardless of <laughs> regardless, it, but go ahead. regardless, it Finish was it was very loud. I feel like I got bugs crawling. They, 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 they do have they do have a tradition. I know you uh, talked about Pat mentioning this on a show. I I can't remember that episode, but they do once they do the national anthem. They I mean let me do it. I'll, 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 and the home of the Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah, the, the entire stadium just blurts it out and i was i was really like wow wow that was i don't know if Did i'm scared the impressed. fuck out of you it was definitely something i'm not used to <laughs> beaver pissed down his leg so, a little bit so i mean at the end of the game though like just uh, leaving the stadium like first of all you heard a pin drop you said it when the field goal went through yeah once the field goal went through it was pretty much done for them uh, the whole entire game, though, the Chiefs fans were still cool because they still always they had still, a chance. Yeah. They They're always like, like, "Hey, we got, got Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we got Patrick Mahomes. Score that, at will." That play when it went on, I was getting so excited because I thought his ass was going to get sacked and then just makes us unreal fucking throw down there. Yeah, let's but, talk. Hold on, before you finish your story, let's talk about the game a little bit. Let's not, you know, or or do you want to talk about the game later? No, you go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just letting him do. I just want to try to keep okay, him rolling well, with the story. No, I, I just want. We don't talk about the whole game now, but the, the question: When the Ty play happened, what was your initial response to that? Complete bullshit. Oh, the pick play. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I thought it was bullshit. But the problem was, I didn't think they should challenge it either. The only reason because why, they haven't been under, overturning shit. Exactly. Yeah, I was just like, we're wasting a timeout when we're we're not even a. A touchdown ahead of him right now. And a, and a guy from a local a podcast. Brought, no. <laughs> uh, while we were talking about the, the game itself and that particular moment in the game, I was furious when they got fancy and threw the pitch play. I'm like, you motherfuckers no, just I ran it. it down their goddamn throats all the way down here, and you're going to throw a fucking pitch inside the five and get a loss of 10 and have to settle for – no, you, you – down their throats, dude. You don't get fancy there. Well, I, you don't know if they've seen. They're probably going to eight in the box. Yeah, they obviously didn't see the right thing because fucking I mean, Quentin got blown up. Quentin you run it right Gonzalo, behind them. Yeah, you Kelly, run it behind that left side all, of the line. They were all rolling. Even if they know it's yeah. coming, let's fucking go. I don't know. But, yeah. I was surprised as hell when Jacoby threw his pick, too. That was that was definitely sucked right there. He didn't see it at all. He didn't I, see him. I was a little he upset, upset that right I didn't away. even see uh, Mahomes from where I was at limping uh, when he did get hurt, though. 
but I did get a fairly close view of. He got rolled up on, and then a yeah. foot on an ankle. Mm-hmm. He got so you were in the Colts in, uh, sideline, right? Yes, did I was. Did you get to interact with the players at all? I already asked him that. He said no. Matthew said, "What's up?" Matthew said, "What's up?" Oh, and, okay, yeah. all right. But, did you uh, really ask that? Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, Smokey, <laughs> but I did get a I did get a decent look at uh, Kamoko's leg though. And oh, you got a good look at it. Beaver went yeah. down the field. He's like, oh, yeah. hey, that looks fucked up, bro. <laughs> yeah. What's that bulge on your? Oh, leg? he's definitely done for the season, guys. <laughs> yeah, you saw that twist, and that was no, that's that disappointing. Sucks, man. Not only it sucks bad. I think. And it, it was pretty awful because as soon as that happened, they panned right to Mathis because that's Mathis that's like understudy. Yeah. yeah. The guy that's been working with Mathis all off season on pass rush moves. It's like his dude. He blew up that game too, yeah, dude. Blew up. And um, I mean, he'd been having a decent season, but like he that was his coming out party for sure. And the look on Mathis' face was just complete. Yeah. Is that your wife yelling or the dog? I, I, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Actually, actually, I I said that anguish was anguish on his face. Vinny's field goal was when you can hear the pin. Actually, I'll take that step further and say when Houston stopped uh, uh, McCoy was it that was the running back at that point when he got that stop on fourth down. Oh, that's that's when because they were on their side of the field at that point. You heard that was amazing. What happened? You you heard this? Pretty much, just completely dead. Only Colts fans. That that's all you could Let's hear. Go! So were you pretty loud during the game? Oh yeah, uh, he's, <laughs> we, we it's have. definitely different than Lucas and where they stand the entire game. Yeah, they, I love that. They do not sit yeah, awesome. at all. This is so, fucking usually cold, so they have to. So no one was bitching that me and Dad were standing the entire time uh, right up front. No one was bitching about that. That's hey Indianapolis. That's how real the worst. fans. They're, I mean, I love my Indianapolis fans, but they're the worst. At the that absolute shit, worst, man. Games, football game, I horrible. can't tell you how many times, of course, every every game that me and my brother have ever been to, we're fucking sloshed out of our minds. Yeah, it's like a church. They it's, they want to go like to church, church and like, then they want to go there. there and like what time? Sit down. What time are we singing hymnals? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's fucking bullshit. I can't tell you how many times people have been like, <laughs> "Hey, sit down," I'm talking to me and my brother, like, are just like, "You guys are too loud." I'm like, and, and me and Greg are completely harsh. You know, we've told seven year old ladies before, it's fucking football, bitch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I hate it too. Dude. Oh god, it pisses me off so much. You go fuck like, down. You, I like stand the fuck up. I'm yelling at people, stand the dude, fuck up. You even go to like Cincinnati and they're standing. Oh up god, and Cincinnati, go nuts. We went to. You were with us like a couple years ago. We went to Cincinnati. No, it was, I know me, I Trey Grubbs went. I don't think I ever went to Cincinnati. There's only three games that I've been to away games for Colts. Yeah, you know, Lions. Lions. But they're wild, man. Luck they made that comeback. Do you want to uh, go to the Houston game later this year? I, I'm going to Pittsburgh. Maybe. You guys want to go? Maybe. Do we play Pittsburgh in yeah, Pittsburgh? Yeah, like November 3rd or something like that. I, w- I will say if I hey, go to a away fast, game. It's about Cincinnati. You know how Cincinnati fans learn how to count to 10? <laughs> 0 and 1. 0 and 2. 0 and 2. 0 and 3. 0 and 3. 0 and 4. I will say, though, any, any road game that I go to, <laughs> bet on it. <laughs> bet on the road game when I go to it. I, I know. Yeah. You're pretty good. You bring the beaver to town. Went to the Packers a couple of years ago when we were definitely underdogs that game, too. Got another dub. I'm trying to think if we've ever lost uh, in a uh, away game that I've went to. I know I you went to the Lions. I went to the Tennessee game last Lions year to, to get in the playoffs. Lions game. I've seen them uh, in the Rams. I've seen them at uh, where else? Lions, Rams, Titans, Bengals. Yeah, we lost the Bengals game when I went. Unfortunately, mm. okay. So I broke my streak there. Yeah, everybody gets one. All right. Yeah, everybody. But gets uh, one. no, we did have one fan though that was uh, not directly behind us but they were right next to the Colts fans that were right next to us. And the lady was talking mad shit the entire game. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just, just personal- okay with it being, you know, a good game right now. Why so do you got to get it's shitty? So, funny. so Rob came to my brother's house. We're watching the game and the whole time. We're like, I was like, of those three, who's talking shit. I'm like, well, David, you know, David's playful talking shit. I'm like, Beaver doesn't really talk shit unless he's like super drunk and I'm there with him maybe. Uh, and I said, but I, but I said, I bet Beaver's dad's talking some mad shit. <laughs> He did a little bit. We thought we did thought Greg bit. Beaver was talking some did shit. A little bit, but the lady—I <laughs> don't know if she thought I was the reason she got kicked out or what. We didn't like try to fuck with her, even though she was trying to like. Did you try to her. fuck her? No, no, no. She was hefty. Uh, uh, Sasquatch. Rough. But she uh, got kicked her. out, and on her way out, 
she was giving me a big fuck you the entire time. Yeah. Like her, a and Colts her husband, fan or a no, Chiefs it fan? was a Chiefs fan, just straight fuck you the whole entire time. Well, like, okay, well she, uh, so she was talking shit to you the entire game, like to me and the uh, guy that was behind me. Like they were, they were going hard at. See us. now, if somebody's talking shit to me. I will always revoke. Yeah, I'm I always. Re re is that the word? Not revoke. It's revoke. Re 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 reboot. 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 What are you talking re about? <laughs> I'm so fucked up. Rebuttal. Rebuttal. I'm a rebuttal her ass. <laughs> Maybe we should change the name of the show to I'm a rebuttal her ass. But rebuttal yeah, her I'm definitely coming back at you, bro. I'm not just gonna take it uh, unless there's. I did. I did say though that I, did, uh, I, did, I, did. I took a uh, piss break and we were all in the bathroom and uh, they they were trying to talk shit a little bit there as well and I was like, hey, you know what? We we all like dislike each other tonight and all that, but we all <laughs> fucking hate the Patriots. I would just sit there trying to keep the peace. Ah, uh, bro, I'd be at the piss. I just look back and be like Patrick Mahomes a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> How's That's that deficit, bro? Yeah. <laughs> What's nah, up? But you, they, they all gay agree. ass quarterback sounds like Kermit the Frog. They I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just waiting for Beaver to say, and and that's all I gotta say about that. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> no, <Nah>, but they. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely agree that they hate the Patriots uh, just as much as we do. So, well, I don't know as much, but they hate the Patriots. Okay, yeah. so not as much. All but, sides. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But no. Once By the way, their opponents now are like three and fucking. I want to. Oh, the Patriots opponents are like four. The records like four and twenty. We have the easier schedule remaining. I saw that today. We're like number three. It's yeah, like easier schedules one remaining. One of the easier schedules, yeah. And for the rest of the year, and we're yeah, like top we, five. That's. Because we faced some killers the first five weeks. Then did, did have some eh. tough one, even though uh, the Raiders are the, better. The Raiders game now improved. doesn't seem as bad. It does not seem as bad, even no. though we hated that every Why does the Raiders game not seem as bad? We should have fucking just, won the Raiders game. We should've yeah, we should have we should have run the right, but they're they're better than what we thought they were. But they aren't what we thought. They just they were. put up a good number against the Bears. They just beat the fuck out of the Bears. So now they're supposed to be a good team. Let's be honest here. Are you okay? Is it time? Time for, for me, me for me to depart no 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 to, we'll get to that well because i'm gonna call you out uh, we'll get, get to that so i'll know yeah <laughs> you're gonna know <laughs> you're gonna know but once the onside right. kick happened and uh and we recovered and we started down in it it was all the chase fans were already heading out by then and so did they talk shit to you in the parking lot at all uh they didn't they didn't talk hard shit you know they said it's because of you we lost asshole i was like oh thanks yeah <laughs> Nah, but I'm like, have a beer, fuckhead. Nah, they, so, you, did you guys like right after the game? Did you dip out and head to Saney? Or no, nah, we go? we stayed, tried to get a few pictures. Uh, we we did bring a sharpie to try to see if we can get a couple autographs, but none of the players like came up at yeah, all. Which I was a little surprised you. that they didn't no, try to be his fucking looking. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Up, <laughs> fucking gay ass dude. Is drunk no, ass. Uh, <laughs> uh, after after this drunk. <laughs> After the game, after the game was quite a trip, though. I will say there is a there is a story about. I, Sorry, Beaver, go. There is a story oh about God. after the game, though. That made me laugh. You little so, fatter. anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh fuck, Beaver! After the game, go so ahead. So after the game, uh, we couldn't remember exactly where the car was at. And so we go in the wrong direction. And then finally I look at the map. I'm like, oh shit, we got to go like way out this way. We still so have no hammered. idea where it's at. Do you put uh, the, the alarms here? I got, <laughs> you know, your phone them? tells you where the fuck your car is at, right? It didn't though. That's the problem. That's awesome. <laughs> Most of the time it does, but that so time he's, it didn't. he's lost in hospital. So territory. you roll out. All of it is a parking lot around there. You got the Royal stadium right next to it, but then you got the uh, parking lot all around it. So it's like, everything looks the fucking same. Did you drive anywhere close to the strange music complex? Uh, no, I that should have been a, a goal of yours. I'm with two people that don't give a shit about strange music. Yeah, well, fuck those yeah. two people. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do, man. But uh, but we I had to do that when I went to New York. I was like, I'm going some, to a fucking Yankees game. Yeah. No. For some reason, David decided to leave out of the stadium before we did, and decided to call us then. And he's like, I have no idea where the hell I'm at. I'm like, Why didn't you just wait on us? And he's like, I don't know why I didn't. All right. Yeah. And we finally find my car and that's about 40 minutes later. And then he shows up about 30 minutes later after that, after we have to tell him like exactly where it's at step yeah. by step, he tried to say he was going to get an Uber, but we finally get to the car and start heading out. We were only six minutes away from the stadium. Our hotel was, but 
uh, on our way, my cousin who was there with his buddies uh, decides to call us as we're leaving. He's like, Hey, cuz on the Jeep. Yes, we okay. were in the Jeep. So he calls me and is like, Hey, cuz. So we were trying to get an Uber or Lyft, whatever it was, but they said it was going to be 140 bucks. Oh, to God, to damn, get, take that. them to their uh, hotel. You're a Colts fan. That's fun. That might have been, but uh, they were like, I got go ahead. I got to pay. I got to pay. No, but he tried to he tried to hit me up, and he wasn't asking me if I could get him a ride, but he uh, was insinuating. Insinuating. Yes. So you fit six people in a jeep. I saw your picture. I had, to, I had to get four in the back. My cousin tried to get back there, and they were like, "No way in hell you're gonna fit with right. your fat ass right there." He's a he's a big dude, so we had to uh, improvise that way. You had to but, put your fat ass in there too, Beaver. Hey, I was the driver. I made sure I was the driver in that. Yep. So we had to drive like 25 uh, minutes uh, back west towards Kansas, actually, and drop them off there. And yeah, that was. Do you want to go to Kansas time. to go chasing tornadoes next year? Huh? We can we can do that. Oh, dude, I'm so. We can get go. that Kansas City barbecue for you, and I Kansas can Kansas City barbecue. I'm gonna I see a tornado. No sauce, you know, I you... have I have one goal in life. I want to be close enough to a tornado, total twister style, that I can throw a beer bottle into the tornado. And Maybe we can get it to work where we get to see Tech Nine in in Kansas City. And a tornado. And there's, and there's Kansas tornadoes. You know. Then I'll die, and I'll just be happy. It seemed like it was a cool <laughs> place. Although the first night we were there, there was a bar that did get shot up. I think uh, four people died. Oh, so, nice. Cool. Oh, yeah. So you didn't go to that bar, I assume. No, I did not get the luxury of going to it. But... Okay, so you also went to the Cardinals game? Yes. Well. Uh, you know, that can be a very brief discussion, just to not, you know, discuss like, what happened there. Well, I kind of talked about if they made it to the playoffs, uh, it would be something I want to do because I've been a Cardinals fan, but I've never been to Bush. And, uh, <laughs> I, 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 Have you I, ever I, fucked a girl with a Bush? I learned that Beaver's a Cardinals no fan, so I officially no, 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 no. Time the fuck out. There's no no comment bullshit. Have you ever fucked a girl with a full-on Bush? We talked about this last week. Yes. That a girl. Yeah. Was it a girl that was older? Was this like back when you were in high school and Bushes were still kind of like these girls hadn't watched porn yet or <laughs> or talked to their mommies about their pussy? Uh, this one was older, yes. Not like super old. What was her reasoning for the bush? Uh, laziness. Laziness. Yeah. Well, so it was a full-on bush, not like a little scrub. I mean, because scrub's all right. It's like, hey, this bitch. I don't want no scrub. I don't want no scrubs either because it <laughs> fucking I'll gives me anything. razor burn on my dick. But yeah. <laughs> Back to your Bush Stadium story. But anyways, uh, it worked out perfectly that the Cardinals were the road team first because then the home game would be the uh, games three and four. And it just so happened that game four was Monday. So they had to win one and lose one in order for that to happen. But we got super lucky that they did. But uh, so we come back to St. Louis and drop David off at his car. And basically we get there like 10 minutes before the game starts. Uh, try, trying to get all that way. It just didn't work out timing wise like we thought, especially we forget about the time zone change, how it's an hour difference. <laughs> We forgot about that. That's before. a big one. That's when Beaver yeah. needs me on trips to, to to plan for stuff like that. No, we, <laughs> so you got to see Melina's little faggot ass hit. It. I I got to see two home runs in the first inning, uh, which was awesome, and then got to also uh, see Azuna hit a second home run uh, the second time around, and then Atlanta started making their nice little comeback right there, which sucked ass. But uh, Molina came up clutch as hell, and uh, once he hit that uh, sack fly. Molina, we got Kunky, Funky Cole Medina on the show today. It's sack fly. Yachty Molina, he, his most hated player. Uh, yeah, Braves will win it in five. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm hopeful that you're wrong, but I got I got to see a walk-off sack fly, and you know what? I'm perfectly happy. I got to get two wins by my favorite teams in their respected sports. and uh, <laughs> He just hit puberty again in his favorite sports. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I lost my voice for a good cause. So Beaver had a great weekend. Chris, you also had an electric weekend. We're going to get into that. I have a quick story about my weekend. I went to uh, the uh, shit, the Lark Ranch with my daughter. Had my daughter all weekend, so of course I didn't go out and get party. You know, I didn't have Ella doing a cake stand. You did get a FaceTime call for me. Yes, uh, mid game. That was cool. We'll get into that as well. But uh, I do want to. I do want to discuss. So Saturday, I took my daughter to Riley Days was going on. I, I love Riley Days. It just brings out the best of Hancock County, really. All the like rich kids. Through- I hate it. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm exaggerating here, by the way. The only reason I go is from the food. You know, the food's normally pretty solid. You get the fair food type shit, which I just just go crazy for. Unfortunately, it doesn't help. But uh, anyway, so I uh, ride the day is cool. Got to check out some hot moms. Went and made slime with my daughter, uh, which is like this fucking shit that kids are obsessed with now and it is the worst fucking thing i hate it my daughter loves it every time she brings it to the house or buys it uh she gets it everywhere and it's just a fucking hassle to clean up like but, the nickelodeon stuff no it's a little different it's it literally feels like just like slime like ooze i don't, I don't uh, know how I to describe you. it yeah I got you. but daughter loves it so we made some and uh, of course she loved it and lost it like within a half hour so that was like four dollars wasted but that was cool <laughs> uh then we went to the lark ranch which is kind of like a giant apple orchard uh, outside of greenfield pretty cool but my favorite thing god damn i literally feels like i have bugs crawling my nose right now yeah. I, mean, real I got bad. him in my skin but <laughs> <laughs> well a little side note the stadium music is much better than what they play at lucas oil oh, lucas oil it's horrible they play like pop music it's they like were Katie playing Perry. just rock music the whole oh, entire time like Katy perry was- Metallica. The Colts Alistair just scored a touchdown because yeah. Marlon Mack just ran over a guy. And they play. I've got the eye of a tiger. <laughs> the fire. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Play some Pantera, motherfucker. They yeah, were, it's everywhere. I get so jealous when I watch Monday Night Football or Sunday Night Football, and I, it, it's in other people's stadiums, and they're playing fucking Ozzy, and they're playing, you know, Metallica, and they're playing Pantera. And I'm like, why the fuck do I got to listen to Katy Perry and, and Billie Eilish? <laughs> <laughs> Hard to get this enough at weddings. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, and I know that. I I mean, I don't know him personally, but I know who the fucking music guy is. It's Alex B from X103, the guy that used to be Alex B from X103. He's playing what fucking Kalen tells him to play, by the way. Yeah. Okay. The daughter the daughters are probably taking over on that and that's why you think like, they're like, you think they're on that level say hey uh could you play it and they could you play that new Tay Tay song please? Yeah, it's the daughters. Well, it probably cuz they got a lot of heat from the parental stuff. And so they went Super G after. If you scared, go to church, motherfucker. Like, yeah. yeah, that's me and my brother's fault, by the way. So that's but, but, but and dude, they used to play. Those days were electric. Dude, back then they, they play see murder. Dude, yeah. Funny story. I will fuck motherfuckers up, on bro. That song, dude. Bro, you understand that song? Like <laughs> I remember going to games when I was thirteen years old and being obsessed with that song. And me being a music guy, I never know who sung the song. Yeah, see murder. Never knew who sung the song. Me and Beaver on vacation, like almost three years ago, and he's just randomly playing a video on his phone. You no, know, Kanye sampled it too. Yeah, blood on the leaves. Randomly, he's randomly playing a video on his phone. It's like a a, a viral video, and uh, the next, uh, it starts playing. See, dun, 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 dun. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" I was like, "Beaver, hold on, pull that back up." And I sold, I totally shazammed it. I was like, "What song is this?" Blah blah. blah. I was like, "Let's go." And we probably listened to it at least fifty times <laughs> in the last three or four Definitely days. Jammed, that trip. Was, I think it was on the Snoop CD. Yeah, it was Snoop Dogg. Snoop 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 Snoop. CD. But the. Uh, that song and the other one that gets me like that, they never played this at Colts game. But we ready? The, gets me going. Three Six Mafia. I bet you won't hit a motherfucker. Hit, hit a motherfucker. Ho! They used to play that. Motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? They played the bet uh, you beat. Won't push them up. Dude, that was before every, uh, this is going to sound pussy as fuck, every soccer game. That's what I played. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the game. I, I used to play that before disc golf back in high school. Yeah, I used to play that all the time. Anyways, back to your uh, weekend. Uh, back to my weekend. Yeah, back to Beaver. Thanks for bringing me back because I would have completely forgot about that. You're welcome. He brought up the song. So they have like these treehouse fucking things. They're connected by bridges. And of course, my daughter goes up one. She always wants me to do shit like that with her. And it's it's hard on daddy's back and knees. I mean, anymore. you don't fit anymore. Right? I don't fit. No, I mean, I never fit. But as long as she's been born, I've never fit. But I always play the part. I'm a cool dad. Sometimes I see moms up there. Rarely any dads. So I'm like the lone asshole up there fucking yeah. chasing kids around. So I'm following her up there. Well, Ella, when she sees something, she's like a fucking puppy that sees a squirrel. She just fucking just takes off, you know, like. So she takes off out of this thing. And mom's like right there by the entrance. So I'm thinking, okay, mom's, you know, sees her roll out of that thing. Mom doesn't see her. <laughs> so I pull out and I was like, where's Ella? And mom's like, we talking about? So mom just instantly starts freaking out. Like thinking, oh my God, somebody's, t-, you know, instantly starts. Fr- I was like, like, and she's making a scene. I'm like, hey, you need to settle. I was like, I look at mom's like, you need to settle the fuck down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so I just start calling. Now. I'm like, Ella, Ella, Ella. So finally she rolls over. But in the meantime, mom's like going up to people like, like legit. Then when she sees Ella, has she, a picture out. Oh yeah, like legit. Have you she, seen this girl? <laughs> <laughs> she was literally missing. She was missing for fifteen seconds at that. You know, like literally, I just just lost where she was. Okay, and uh, 
Mom is literally freaking out. And when Ella comes out, she's like, what did that man take you? I was like, mom, shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's people here, you know, like, I'm like, calm down. No, she just ran off like a child. Calm the fuck down. So, uh, yeah, lost my daughter for a good 10 or 15 seconds. I was not panicked, but my mom almost had a stroke. And I had a conversation with my mom. It's, it's high strung and as nervous and as like just crazy she is. Uh, if anything ever happened to anybody in the family, she would panic and have a stroke and they would both die. For sure. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> my mom's a worry wart. Too. Oh, mom is horrible. She calls it a worry wart. Yeah. I can't say that. Mom right gets now. scared of me driving. That. Worry wart. <laughs> I had to really try there. Yeah, it's hard, dude. That's yeah. a hard one. I might be able to worry, say worry, wart. worry, wart. worry, worry, wart. worry, wart. worry, wart. worry, 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 That's one of them freaky words. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Oh, shit. The bad. So you went and played in a golf scramble this weekend. <clears throat> yeah, probably. I would argue. I mean, he's, he's probably one of my it's one of my best friends I ever, Sam. He's having another little girl. Thanks, Chris. So we had a diaper party and uh, we did a uh, scramble. There in Anderson, and dude, it was a fucking electric. By the time. by, the way, Drew Heck says fuck the Cardinals, Beaver. Yeah, fuck the Cardinals. Appreciate that. It was electric the time, boys. We had a uh, went four on four. We won the scramble. We played like I think three of my shots. I'm, I mean, three what, of your shots. What? Yeah. You, okay, what'd you? So score? the people I haven't been golfing in two years, but I I hit two very very clutch putts. I had a chip that right next to the pin. I mean, two big. My my shots were clutch that we had to use. Okay, but then mm -hmm. what was your score? You you won, correct? Yeah, I don't know. I don't you don't remember. remember what your score was? Yeah, I was drinking fucking beers. Because this will tell me if you guys can beat us or not. I was drinking beers all day. Yeah. <laughs> now now yeah, we got I, you I two. Wish, I, I'll find out, though. I can find out. Yeah, find out your score. We I were definitely know how way under. I know yeah. that. Yeah, well. Matt is, Matt is now trying to get a competition. The best, the best we've ever done, our team is negative 28. Oh, dude. We were, we were like 69, maybe. That's, I mean, that's, good, I think he's just coming up with the number 69 in his head. But yeah, it was a good time, man. We, uh, <clears throat> yeah. I said negative. It's minus 20, 28, by the way. Yeah. I'm fucked up, guys. Look at me. I'm fucked up. Can you see my eyes right now? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you watch us live if you haven't yet. YouTube, subscribe. Do we, we need, thank you so much for listening to Highly in a, I'm just kidding. Guys. But no, Sammy bought a shirt, by the way. Yeah, Sammy. Yeah. You'll never see that 20 bucks, but <laughs> I spent it. <laughs> <laughs> bought some beer with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to find that twenty bucks. Huh? <laughs> Fuck I, with you. I gotta pay my credit card off. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah, a credit card to pay too. Yeah, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. So that's cool, man. Glad you got to play golf. I haven't golfed since I started my new job, so I need to go out and fucking play golf. That's kind of pissing me off. But uh, we do have big news this week. We have a tranny update. Tranny update here on Highly Inappropriate. I do have a fucking intro coming for that soon. It's going to be amazing. I got some ideas flowing in my head. I just have to sit down and do it. And I literally, like you, I have not been home in fucking three weeks. Like, that's why we're doing the show mm -hmm. on a Tuesday for the third fucking week in a row. But <sighs> I like it. Dude. Miss you, Mike. I dude, do my, too. My I prefer Sundays, the week. I told Mike, uh, you have to get a new job. Dude, my Sunday's laying in bed watching football. All day. It's my only fucking day off of the yeah, week. It's like, I, I just don't, don't want to move. Give that up. I don't want to move. And even if football wasn't on, I would go out and do something. I just have to get away. Just have to do something. Like now we need you can to go, watch it on your phone. If we do it on Sunday, I say we're doing it at eleven o'clock. Early, I want early. Just eleven to twelve. Get it over with that. We have the rest of the day. Football. We can even bring up sports. That way we can go Michael and get. Dr we can go get. Michael get up early to hear us talk about football. He's gonna see, love it. Here's the thing too. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing too. Here's the thing, too, because if we do it late, we can't go out and get drunk all fucking day because then we'll end up ditching the show. We did that a few times after Colts <laughs> games last year. We're like, there's no fucking way I do a show right now. No fucking way. But the tranny update for this week, a male student crowned homecoming queen at California High School. Of course, it fucking happened in California, right? In Clovis, California, another male student, oh, another male student has been crowned as homecoming queen, despite the fact that he is, well, not a woman or a girl. Trevor Mayer, he's, he doesn't have a fucking Meyer, excuse me, Trevor Meyer, he doesn't have a girl's name, a senior at Clovis East High School, stands nearly six feet tall, he identifies as a gender neutral, so he's not even a woman, he's gender neutral, mm -hmm. gender neutral, whatever that is, <laughs> that's literally in the article, that's amazing, I'm not even gonna lie, I thought, I didn't even think this was the Beaver, trend, do you know, do you, do you know any gender neutral people, uh, it was supposed to be some Dwight Howard shit, but I couldn't find the article, but oh, there's, okay. apparently there's a, there's an update on Dwight Howard, in his trainee situation, and he comes out and he's like, I'm not gay, I have proof. I'm like, yeah, you probably sucked a fucking dick, bub. <laughs> <laughs>
Clearly, as you see from this picture above, the actual homecoming king is overjoyed. Overjoyed? <laughs> that was exaggeration. Sorry for laughing in your face. Look at the Which look one up. is it? <laughs> which one's the king and which one's the queen? I'm sorry, guys. Whatever you want to do in your free time, it's fine, but this does not look like a female. That's a six foot tall, ugly ass bitch with an Adam apple. That's what that is. You could see her five o'clock shadow. Mm -mm. That's huh. solid. Jesus, what a time to be alive. Dude, I'm going to yeah. take that girl's basketball team to win state. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, man. That's, the, the, next, that's the next power lifter, the champion power lifter for women right there. Is that, that Put your money on it. Come on now. But seriously, what, what a time to be alive, guys. And it, like, I, sometimes I get real super mad when I think about the state of the world. Then other times I just sit back and I'm like, this is pure entertainment. This is without, if the world wasn't as fucked up as it is now, we would not have a show. I, what I think <laughs> is awesome about it is that we find it funny. Like the people that also find it funny that are afraid to find it funny. Or would not say this or even, on, or even, on the internet. Yeah, or even funnier than the, oh, it's just. But uh, I mean, this kind of goes into our uh, next little segment about fucked up world and uh, the uh, what to watch this week. You know, what are we going to watch? The Beaver just tried to do the transition there. He I tried did to try steal, to. He tried to steal try my to. thunder there. He's like, we're just going to. Beaver's uncomfortable about the tranny talk. You I have am. something to tell us? Uh, that what the are watch you a tranny? Is, what the watch was really good this week. Did it have anything to do with the tranny? Uh, there could have been a tranny in it. Don't, I, don't I haven't seen the movie being. yet, so don't spoil the movie for me. But the Joker was amazing, correct? Yes, it was really awesome. And you think I'd love it because I love horror movies and oh, fucking yeah. dark shit. Joker was. It was incredible. Yeah, because they said uh, I was kind of worried. There's a few movies that I've been honestly nervous about watching. One was The Passion of the Christ. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Mel Gibson. I was just like everybody over blew that movie. Like it was just so like moving. You were time. nervous to watch well, it. That when you're nervous, I was like I didn't know how it would hit me. You know, because they said a lot of people said it was emotional. Blah blah blah. I mean, I was like 14 at the time too. So like this is a different. Now I'd be like, how'd oh, your mother feel it. about it? I don't. No, probably loved it. She probably yeah, Jesus sacrificed a lot for you. She told me the other day, you know, because I bought that science. It, it was a picture of Jesus and it says, "Don't be a dick." And she's like, "Jesus doesn't like to be mocked." And I was like, "Mom, you're assuming Jesus doesn't have a sense of humor either." You know, I'm like, <laughs> "He was a carpenter. Come on now." I think Jesus does have a sense of humor. Wouldn't it be tight to meet Jesus and he's like, "Hey, what's just up, super fucker? cool." Yeah, it's like he's, he's pretty, you're pretty he's cool, high as hell. You're pretty man. cool, man. You're a nice guy, Chris. You're a good dude, man. Chris, you did a lot of math back in the day. You're a cool dude. <laughs> no math. <laughs> no math. Like, no math. Hey, uh, my place of employment, no math. Yep, no math at all. Absolutely no math. What were we talking about, Beaver? We're talking Tran about the Joker movie. movie. Tran the Joker movie. So just kind of give us a uh, – you both seen it, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went and saw it Friday. So dark I went and saw it Friday, too. And you would say rage, rave, raving reviews, correct? Yeah, it was definitely award-winning. I mean, Joaquin Phoenix killed it. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Embodied the role. Well, dude, the way when you see it, like the the weight that he lost to like play, it, he lost tons of. I mean, it just he killed the role. My question for you though, Incredible. Chris, and Joaquin? and funny parts and shit. Like you'll feel sorry for him. Yeah, like he, yeah. But My question for you is Joaquin or Heath. I don't think anybody can beat Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger took that to another like. It, it might be one A, one B. Because both of them were up there, pretty good. Because honestly, he's on I, that level, dude. I'm you'll not even. See. I'm not even a guy who uh, is is really into like superhero movies and shit like that. It's not even a superhero movie. Well, I know that, but like it it pertains to Batman. Yeah, it does. But you got a you'll, slight, you'll you got a slight yeah. Batman in it. Slight, yeah. very slight. Yeah. I mean, well, the Joker originated from Batman. Maybe the story has nothing to do with Batman, but it is like. Yeah. The point is, when I went to see the Batman with Heath Ledger, I was like, "Holy shit!" This guy mm. like embodied this role. Like, what a way to die! Mm. <laughs> what a way to go out! Because you literally just fucking it's the mean, best work you ever did you had joaquin phoenix who played johnny cash and fucking lost his mind and honestly i thank you heath ledger for making the joker or making batman whatever the dark knight because my last memory was you of you was the fucking broke back mountain where you're making out <laughs> with jake gyllenhaal and fucking mountains chasing goats and fucking each other i heard he killed that role too <laughs> he bent over backwards to yeah. play that role. <laughs> yeah, he did. That's, that's so. But I got out. to see that Friday right before I left out uh, for KC. So I was, think I would fire my manager if he comes up to me and says, "Hey, I got a great role for you. I think it's gonna be a real hot film. It's gonna strip a little controversy. It's okay. You just have to make out with Jake Gyllenhaal. Is that okay?" They made out in it. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Be right. I never, I never watched it, it but I I've, really I've seen the parts where they make. Let me tell you a funny story. 
the only time that I've ever been around somebody that watched. I go to my aunt, uh, uh, Aunt Vicky and Uncle Tim's house one day. I'm going to use their computer or something, print something out, and I'm walking through the living room, and they're watching Brokeback Mountain because all I hear is it's some guy on the on the show go, are you going to Brokeback Mountain or something like that? And I just turn real quick. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys watching? So many jokes. <laughs> yeah. So many jokes. Oh. But, I mean, they, I mean, to do that so you've role, watched though, it? No, I've never seen it. <laughs> But Chris is like, I love that movie. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, what was <laughs> That's just, my jam? I just wish I could put John Wayne in a room and be like, I got Western for you. Tell me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> and then let it just let it uh, record him, him watching Mc, Brokeback Mountain. Him John and Clint Eastwood in a, in a movie. Clint, oh, what do you think Clint thought when he was? Oh, uh, it was probably like, it fucking spooks. <laughs> He's <laughs> doing the finger guns. <laughs> Not supposed to do the finger spooks. guns. <laughs> That's like the third racist term I've used on the show, to, you know. Uh, I do have that. a nominee for a shitbag titty fuck of the week, and it is the entire New York legislation. Because now you can be fined up to $250,000 if you call someone an illegal alien in New York. This is, I mean... It's funny that this is yours because mine is also going to be court-related. Court-related? Great. Yeah. About your court relations? <clears throat> no, but you'll... Meek? I, I got it. I, it just came to me, too. The Meek? The who? Meek? Meek Mill? Yeah. No. Is that it? No. no. Fuck no. Okay. It didn't happen Apparently he's got no, no, but he's got a documentary on Netflix. Blah blah blah. You get it. You get it. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> any fucking ways. Okay, New York City has banned the term "illegal alien," which used with intent to demean, humiliate, or harass a person. So you're actually giving the government permission to judge the intent of a word. Fucking so, stupid, so idiotic. The, only in New York. Two fifty. Is that what it said? Two hundred fifty thousand dollars for using the term "illegal alien." First and foremost, it's I mean, I mean, a trash man makes like a hundred grand in New York, so it's a little. But still, I'm just like uh, here. No, I'm just <laughs> what what just what I mean. You, you basically all these guys in New York just completely pissed on the Constitution, completely pissed on your Bill of Rights. Yeah, by blocking a term, and this isn't the first time this has happened in America. <laughs> so how history. bad is? Yelling and calling people illegal aliens in New York, like for this to even be a thing. What's like, I get? Are like, people just is it just running it, around the street? Illegal alien. It's just an erase. It's you know like I mean? yeah, because like, I don't picture people in New York just yelling illegal alien out in the street. Oh my god, illegal but, alien! But I mean, it's got to be a fucking issue for it to go to this in New York. If anywhere, it should no, be like Texas. In New York, they in New York they literally just wake up, probably fucking drugged out of their brains, and say. What would fucking be stupid? To, dude, I do not. New York and California, they're like a different. They're on a different planet. California. Nothing they do makes Great sense. Song. Nothing they do makes sense. Nothing they do makes sense. Only fruits and nuts come from California, though. Oh, and New York. <laughs> Jesus. California. So my shitbag titty come. fuck of the week is the entire legislation in New York City because you all fucking suck. You don't care about the rights of Americans. I'm going to tell you what. I don't necessarily like talking, you know, I don't like, uh, you know, hate speech or whatever uh, myself. You know, I find racist jokes funny, but like when you're being, you know, malicious towards, I, I don't like that speech either, but you can't take away somebody else's ability to say it. You don't have to agree with what they say. I don't, but. Yeah, you can't do nothing. Yeah, you can't. It's freedom of speech. You can't say nothing about it. Yeah, speech. because something that's offensive to you is not going to be offensive to me. Just exactly. because, one, I don't think either of us I mean, it's some stupid anything. shit that people say and right. racist fucking shit, but I mean, yeah, it's, Beaver. it's freedom of speech and whatever. So is Chris going to get to his? Uh, I got two. Go ahead, Beaver. So uh, these are more personal ones, actually. My first uh, shitbag titty fuck of the week is crowd surfers. Uh, <laughs> we were going to get into that. Uh, I got a PSA. <laughs> Know your fucking weight whenever you are deciding to crowd surf. Wait. Yes. Wait. Know your weight. Know your weight because you fat fucks that want to do it. And would you agree with me here? Crowd surfing. One time. You get one time up there. One time. You get one time up there. That's cool. I'm cool. If I see you one time up there, great. You're experiencing it. You're having fun. Cool. The motherfuckers that do it 30 times, you, I want to kill. You Murder. know I was there for three days. Three days. There were numerous oh, people. I, I did told for, you about. I like, did it for three days people. at Rock on the or, uh, Rock, Sonic, Sonic Temple, Rock on the Range, whatever. Yeah, it's infuriating. It is. <laughs> you got people up front just trying to enjoy themselves. They've already got people shoving the shit out of them the entire time. This is this is showing me and Beaver's age because 10 years ago, we would never would even care. See, I used to just do circles. And I would I would crowd surf and then kick people when I got mm -hmm. close to the front so I could fall before the fence. Yeah, you're the people I like clothesline in the pit. Yeah, knock you out. Yeah, fuck you, dude. <laughs> but uh, 
but uh yeah crowd surfers what are... what? what you want some motherfucker? Oh, pussy crowd surfers <laughs> only, only one time and know your goddamn weight because you fat fucks ah oh, dude I don't my care. favorite, like every time I, I was cracking you up because every time a real fat bitch would come, I would scurry in front of Beaver. I would push him like back toward where the fat bitch was coming. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I straight up told you. Why didn't you, you let her like pussy land on your face? Dude? No, I straight up told her. At one point, granted, we talked about creepers, uh, creepers, you know, touching beautiful women. Yeah. Uh, at one point, I just turned my head and I had a fucking tens snatch in my face. And I was like, what do I do at this point? <laughs> So I was a polite man. No, I, tongue out. <laughs> no I did not. I mean, I wanted to. Yeah. 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 I did tell you though, by the third day. Man, uh, I, it stinks down here. I was I was at the point where I was telling you, dude, if I see somebody, I'm just letting them drop. I don't Oh, we did. We got to that point. We both did. Because yeah. at one point, some guy just like landed right. <laughs> it was because of crowd surfers and pushing that ruined. Uh, and probably a lot of drinking that day that ruined me seeing Slipknot uh, on that Friday. Beaver left. He bitched out. I, I was about ready just to pass out right where I was standing before they were getting to Probably get. how I felt before Ozzy, but I, there was no chance I was leaving that. Dude, I, I really wanted to make it through it, and I just could not. Ozzy go. was there this past weekend? No, no Ozzy, we went to see Ozzy during the eclipse. It was like 100 uh, degrees, yeah. and I literally felt like I was going to pass out. That's how like depleted of everything I felt. Slipknot was definitely one. Yeah, Slipknot was definitely one of the bands, and I, because of crowd surfers and just constant pushing, even but while there was no. You've seen Slipknot playing. before, so it's not like not that close though. Yeah, I've well, no, them. we've been them in the pit for Slipknot. See, I can't take Slipknot, that. Lamb of God, Five Finger Death Punch. It was, uh, it was one of. I don't the, remember. I thought we were in chairs uh, for that one. No, maybe it was Slipknot and Corn that See, were yeah. headline. No, it was I don't want to be zombie and Corn. We were in the pit for. I don't want to be sweaty and pushy and stuff. I just want to chill and. Well, Smoke normally if you're nuts. in the pit, if you're at the pit at Verizon, Ruoff, fucking what me off, whatever the fuck it's called now, Ruoff, Me Creek. Off, Clips, Deer yeah. Creek, whatever the whatever fuck you call that called. place in Noblesville, god damn it, whatever you call it, the pit there doesn't really get rowdy. See, yeah. I, would, I don't even want to in front of the that. stage. Man. I'm so, so the crowd, if you're if, if you're in the lawn for a metal show, it's gonna get rowdy. Yeah, it will be rowdy. Yeah. Good time. I'll but never be there. This the second uh you're going next year. I won't be there. Let's go concert. to a metal concert. Come I'm on, taking him to a Lamb of God concert. I'm just really I'm breaking <laughs> it in the right with, way. You gotta go with me though. To, to, some, to something. I'll go to you with some shit ass country concert. You'll just fuck some fucking white girl in a mini skirt country That's in cowboy hey, boots. You're assuming I'm a slut. <laughs> but no, I would ride. I wouldn't take you to uh <laughs> to country. I think I I'm trying but you'd still love it. I would like anything that you would go to. Like a Bob Seger or something like that. I would love a Bob Seger yeah. concert. Yeah. His last one was this past weekend, though. You'd be surprised. Like I would go see the Backstreet, Backstreet Boys in concert. We've talked we about this. We needed to. Celine's coming. I wouldn't do that. Celine's coming to The Andy. only thing I would not have fun at is <laughs> any any newer country artist. I would be miserable. Tay -tay. Like Zach Brown Band? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, they're good. There's some songs of them You would I like them. Because they, 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 they play metal. Did you know? They play, well, they they'll play metal. Yeah. No, they don't try. They, no, they no I'm saying they. I'm saying they. Tra I was getting ready to say they transition into like folk. Yeah, they're everything. Yeah, like, they, that's I what, their one it. album was called Jack, I'm about, Jekyll and High. They had a song with the dude that No Luke Bryan. What's the guy's name? What the the best the dude. alternative voice ever? The he, he Chris fucking, Cornell. Yeah, he had, he was on one of their songs. Oh, uh, Chris Cornell. Heavy gets ahead. The band after Chris Cornell uh, left behind. They they were not that good. Uh, oh, Stone Temple them. Pilots. Yeah, Stone Temple was. Oh, I would not. Chris well, that, that Cornell Stone. was. Yeah. You went. Uh, was Wyland. Yeah, it was Chris, that was Scott Wyland. But yeah, same okay. same point. They're not They're, the same without fucking yeah. Scott Wyland. Yeah, they were not. They were not good. I just said Stone Temple Pilots because I remember him telling me that nineties yeah. yeah. alternative is. The, oh, it's the best. It. I, that's why it's I listen to it at work. Awesome. Yeah. But uh, second, it should be our shitbag titty fuck of the week, Chris, for shitting on the Colts. Yeah, we we agree, and we might. That's a good transition. I mean, uh, which we'll get into because you got to give your shitbag titty fuck of the week. But yeah, Chris, yeah, you know, yeah. you are the shitbag titty fuck of the week for not having no faith in 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 the local team. I, I mean, I I put ten dollars on him and hit one ten. So I, I mean, I I did that. He but. just likes talking shit then. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the as soon as I saw Kenny Moore go down, I said, "Boys, we're gonna get carved. We're getting ready to get carved we're up. Getting, we're getting fucking carved." <laughs> I said, "I hope up. we can put thirty up because we're getting ready to get carved," and we didn't. We put nineteen up, and I'm telling you right now, one. that offensive line might be the best in football. Oh, dude, I'm I'm telling you it right is. now, I'm not even exaggerating because he's on our team. The left side is without a doubt. Well, Costanzo's the number one rated left tackle in the league. Costanzo, how, how I'm sorry to keep interrupting, but how 
like Q. How he makes dude Casanzo was say, horrible without Q. He went horrible. He was wait, he, he was, was decent, average. He was average. But uh, you, you got pissed a lot. But yeah, yeah. With he him. had bonehead plays. But with Q next to him, he's unstoppable. Well, they all are. Dude, I Quentin Nelson, no joke, is the most dominant offensive lineman I've ever watched play football. I yeah. literally watch what the he best. does every play. Dude, he he literally picks. He will go down as probably down the, the best. Field. Like Just he's the first people. one down the field on a like a thirty yard run. He's the guy that yeah. I love him, dude. I love him. He's the ultimate I team guy. Love the guy. Ultimate team guy. Ultimate. Did team you guy. see the 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 black paint this week? Yeah, all over his yeah. face. Oh, oh my god, I love him even more. Imagine being a defensive I would, tackle. I wish now, I imagine being a defensive tackle, around. knowing you have to go up against this guy. You're probably just miserable. You're like, Dude, I, I I picture him like just like first play, looking up at the guy he's seeing all day and just winking at him. Yeah, right. But interesting fast. fact. So I watched a video on YouTube over the weekend, and I may or may not consume some sort of green leaf. I don't know, but uh, I was. I think it was it was. It's probably Sunday night, I want to say. I was watching a video about Quentin Nelson, and the reason he has, or he's so good, he's got so much hip flexibility, is because he did martial arts all of his life. Yeah, he, I mean, he did the kung fu stretch at the beginning of the game. Yeah, you didn't see him kneel down in the kung fu. Yeah, and apparently he does that all the time. That. But he's a martial artist, like legit taekwondo. That's, a, that's actually something that Chris Ballard talked about when he did his little uh, thing with the media uh, that he did post draft. Once he get, once he took Quentin, he showed them a video of him uh, doing stretches. And just showed the flexibility the dude has, and it was. I mean, it, the ballet uh, thing has always been a thing in the NFL with linemen. Like mm -hmm. you know, the linemen. Well, you know ballet. Howard yeah, Howard Mud Howard Mud back in the day. You know how he used to train offensive linemen to block. They'd watch basketball together, and how I mean, they don't do it now, but how mm -hmm. to, how do people used to block out? You know, and yeah, that's how he t taught offensive linemen how to block. Was kind of how NBA players would block out to get a. To get a basketball. Well, anyways, Chris, good job being the shitbag titty, titty fuck, fuck of the week. week. That's your first nomination. I congratulate you. I think we should end up having a shitbag titty fuck of the year at the end of the year. We do our celebration. We do our Christmas party. Do our celebration. We'll have a shit shitbag titty fuck of the year, and you're now a nomination. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Awesome. Awesome. I can't. Uh, you know, hopefully, I'll fuck up here soon, and that way you guys yeah, can yeah. put me in there too. Beaver. But I, I would. I would. I would, I would we might I just would, name. The, we might just name the fucking trophy after you, but. <laughs> Probably <laughs> the Elliot Beaver shit bag titty fuck of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like they it. they, they like blew my mind Sunday. They really I have did. a brilliant idea for the show, and we shouldn't give out brilliant ideas like this. But what if we have a shit bag titty fuck of the year? We actually have a trophy made, and we mail it to whoever the fuck it is. I mean, I think that's brilliant. The shit bag titty fuck of the year, like celebrity, whatever. And we mail it to their to fuck. It. Oh, I think it would be hilarious. Great, subscribe and review to our podcast. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> All right, well, I got the winner right here. This is my <laughs> shitbag titty fuck of the, the week or whatever. Let's go. But, uh, Let's go. The guy that served 10 days in jail for sleeping oh, through jury pissed duty. pissed me off. <laughs> pissed me off because the podcast I love, Jason Stapleton, he's got uh, a podcast called Wealth, Power, and Influence. He talked about this during a show. Never heard ever. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> like it. It's all politics. You'd oh, be God. so confused. You might learn a thing or two, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he... Uh, DeAndre Somerville yeah, overslept and missed jury duty in August. Judge John S. Castorakis, I don't know how to say it's it. Total, was not, probably a racist prick. But. Not arrest, was not impressed. He held uh, him in him, him contempt, scolded him in court, and slapped him with a 10-day jail sentence and a one-year probation. So not only uh, – the whole point of jury duty is completely stupid. And, and it was his first criminal uh, First offense. criminal offense ever. Literally, a cop showed up at his grandparents' house, apparently, like looking for him. He was out playing basketball or some shit. I don't know the whole story. The thing I want to bring up, me being a libertarian and the fact that I don't think the government has any control over your body – Think about the whole idea of jury duty is the government is forcing you to to, to work on their behalf, mm -hmm. forcing you. They're paying you like minimum wage basically to do it. And yep. they think it's your civil fucking duty to, you know, jury duty is cool. Honestly, people like me would probably appreciate it. You know, just seeing how the court process plays out. You know, I probably think it was pretty neat. But the whole pro the whole point is the, the court is holding you against your will to be there. This kid accidentally oversleeps. And it's funny because he had to be there at like nine and he slept till like 11. Like, so, so were you out partying, dude, or what? <laughs> but like, I mean, that's neither here nor there. But the I, point is he oversleeps, shows up, uh, doesn't show up later. He doesn't show up at all. He probably should have called him and said, hey, that's my bad. I fucked up, blah, 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 whatever. 
I would say fuck it too. Yeah, I would say fuck it too. If I show up that late, absolutely, I'd be like fuck it. But I would probably give him a courtesy call. But the, the best same- thing is he got more time than the guy that he was supposed to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nuts, man! It's bullshit. And the cop, yeah, dude. Cop. If they did that to me, I'd be. This is so bullshit. Can I'd you be, imagine oh, if we? I, mean, ma- I would get content. I'd get even more time. Can we imagine if we? Oh, we, I'd blow up. What bro. if we mail uh, this judge a trophy, the shit bag Timmy mm-hmm. fucking? I want to. I mean, that, I told you. I had yeah, what a con. That, that might be the winner. This dude. guy, this guy's a racist. It's piece gonna be hard to beat that. Yeah, the, the judge you, probably racist piece of have shit. Have you ever right? got asked to do jury duty? Yes, I did okay. one time this year actually, and I, I showed up and the trial Man, been they won't canceled. Yeah, are you a felon? I was. Not anymore. I got it reduced. Look at him. You can be a rapper, Chris. I took my classes. <laughs> I actually, I actually did get a form to fill out for it, but uh, I was going. You through would some, never make it. I was going through some uh, legal issues. I was going through some legal. I know issues I'd never make. Cause I'd be talking about my political views and shit. Yeah, it, it was. I'd riot. be like, I'd go in and go. Finally, <laughs> you know, like I was going to do the rock thing, but yeah, finally the rock <laughs> got your duty. Yeah, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, sir, I, you can go ahead and leave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sir, if you want to exit, sure, uh, number eight, you can go ahead and leave. There's cookies and juice on the way out. <laughs> Grab your cookies and juice and uh, make sure you sign out with there with the clerk. Thank you. Yep. Uh, all Guilty. Out. That's what but, I did. That's what, honestly, but, my, uh, uh, of all people, my mom, because I was like, I really don't want to fucking do this, but I, I got the day off regardless because, of, you know, so uh, mom's like, just go there and talk about your political views and they will not pick you because you're, because for me, I don't believe in any nonviolent crime at all. So, like, I don't. You believe- told him that. No, I'm saying I would tell him that. Oh, when I showed up, they said the trial had been canceled, so I didn't even have to be interviewed. Oh, gotcha. mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. See, if I got on a juror, I would just end up like finding somebody. I, I, I mean, I can't fuck this motherfucker, dude. Like, yeah. I, I'd find somebody I hated. But hey, and I, would, and I wouldn't even look at the trial. I'd just say the opposite of this dude I hated. Yeah. <laughs> just- what if? What if? What if? Like, here's the funny thing. What if you were the speaker of the jury and you read the the exact opposite? Fucking like, if, if they found him guilty, I'm like. Not guilty. Everybody's like, "What the fuck is this guy doing? What is he doing? What is this hey, jackass doing? doing? Dumbass, bro! No, I, no, he no. just <laughs> murdered twenty-seven people. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> On twenty-seven counts of murder, we find the defendant. Defendant, not, not guilty. guilty. And then I go, "I can't wait to hear your album, sir." <laughs> <laughs> hey, subscribe, rate, review, iTunes. <laughs> That's what I picture you doing walking out of a courtroom. Say, "Hey, subscribe, rate, review. Highly inappropriate. Highly inappropriate." <laughs> I haven't been on there for three months. Yeah. <laughs> Kel- I'd come Arkele, out of, I'd come out of jury duty and hit play on like highly inappropriate and like yeah. McAfee would be on your show and shit. Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's on the R. Kelly trial. Uh, uh, one of those. So we, <laughs> we've covered the Colts game enough. I, a couple dude, of- you would, you would fuck a juror. Oh, for sure. I would dude, you're to. locked up. You're only around the jurors, right? You have no TV I- in your hotel room. You have no phone. You have nothing. Think of the OJ people, like nothing for months, eight months back there. That's what they had. They had no TV. I don't think they're like, I don't think they had to stay in a hotel room. I think. Yeah. Yes. They, you know, they were in a fucking hotel room. Seriously. You're, no, you don't even see your family. You see absolutely nobody You're talking about for long trials. Yes. Nobody, no newspapers, no TVs, nothing. You have no outside influence. You can't talk to family. You can't talk to no, nothing. All you know is you go back. Nothing. The people you're with. They bring you down and feed you with That's the torture. people that you're with. That's torture. Yeah, you're like it's like you're in a fucking prison. That was the big thing during the OJ trial. Yeah, they, because they started fucking acting back. Like they were like, "This is fucking bullshit." You know, yeah. I want to go home. Like, yeah, they and, I, like and they that say that's now, a though. big reason he got the not guilty because OJ's juror. They seen it. Yeah, and they kept going longer and longer and drag it. By the drag way, it. there's that's, no that's one way. of their things that they did. There's no way he's not guilty. If you oh, hear, he fucking did it. Oh, he murdered the fuck out of them guys. Murdered the fuck out of them. Speaking of murdering the fuck, can the Colts maybe after Brissett's career is over, can we uh, draft Arch Manning, please? The Archie? Protégé. Arch. Arch. Uh, the nephew. The nephew. He's the protege. Because Archie came out <coughs> I this was, week. It's funny and you said, brought this up, dude. I was watching highlights of him. Uh, let's draft Arch Manning, and we'll take Marvin Harrison Jr., too, by the way. Yeah. He's still maybe, a kid. Maybe T.Y. Hilton, right. Hilton Jr., too. Yeah, we'll take little T.Y. Yeah, little out T.Y. There <laughs> fucking... He putting people on skates. Oh yeah, you already know. Two years, boys. The, the future's coming out. What do you mean Clem- from Clemson? That kid's gonna be tough. He ain't dude. looked that great this year, though. Hey, trust me, he's still gonna be good, but he ain't looked as yeah. good. I've, if I've learned anything about doing this show with Chris, it's that never listen to any of his predictions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I fucking I kill it, dude. <laughs> now, if you bet on it, you kill it. But like just sitting here talking, you. 
All right, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's going to be a good quarterback? Oh, yeah, he's going to be good. I do, too. I think he's going to be good. I don't think he's going to be like Andrew Luck-ish prospect coming out of co- you know college, but I think he'll be good. I'm rarely wrong on quarterbacks. Like I, I can tell you every quarterback's going to fucking suck. I say he's the best since Luck and Peyton. They were like the last two. Yeah, they also said they that about Clawson, goals. too. It's fucking nuts. Jimmy Clawson was supposed to be a world beater. Nah, team. they didn't say he was that Yes, good. they did. When he was coming out of college, he was a – you know what? Four no. star fucking he fell to the second round. He's a didn't piece he? of shit from no fucking coming Notre out of Dame, high school. Dude. I'm saying coming out of high school, he was the. No, I ain't shit. talking about high school. I'm talking about yeah. he's fucking in college. Yeah, yeah, they don't miss in college too often. They miss a lot. They miss. They miss a lot. They miss. Let's be honest. Keep here. going. I mean, fuck off. The, hey, I'm finally, I'm finally glad that this year we can admit that Cam Norton Newton is not a good quarterback. By the way, because he's not playing. Well, not only that, I mean, he just sucks. Yeah, Kyle Allen's been okay. He started out really good and kind of. Yeah, but they would be just okay with Cam Newton too. So yeah, great, great like sense of style on Cam Newton. I like maybe every maybe stuff. maybe every player should just play high because Percy Harvin also come out this week and said that he played every game high. It was a bold move. And Pat I, Pat on his show actually had a good uh, conversation about saying you're going to see more of this. Yeah, you're, kind of you're absolutely going to see more of this, mm-hmm. and the fact. That you can do Adderall in the NFL. It's a definitely a performance enhancer. Oh, dude, Adderall. Have you, get, you ever done Adderall? No, I've not. Never done Adderall. I, I would almost be. I'm pretty productive as it is. I can just imagine what this thing would do to me. I have a buddy who's. I, I mean, people don't know who I'm talking about, but other people won't. But a buddy whose dad is like prescribed it, and he gets it all the time. And I've taken one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if me and you, if we went out and somehow like got away from Megan and we could go out on the town and just fucking go, yeah, and we popped one of those before we went out drinking, we would easily, no questions asked, we'd be in prison. <laughs> Why is that? Just it's dude, um, it's like fucking doing a fucking eight ball of cocaine and just nonstop filling it. Like you're you, just like ready to go at all times. All times, you're just fucking 100 miles an hour. Now, would I want to get in a hours, fight? Would like I want to get in a fight? Hours and hours. I don't think you would want to get in a fight, ex- but I mean, if you're on booze, I mean, you could. You, yeah. You're gonna be I'll hyped. Say, I think if, I was to say, if I'm hyped and I'm drinking, I'm probably gonna want. I guess it fight. just depends on who would come up to you at that point. If someone, I mean, was I'm pretty passive aggressive right now, but if somebody's confrontational with me. I'm definitely the best is when you give it to somebody and you're like, dude, I don't feel nothing, and you're like, oh, shit, mm-hmm. next thing you know, they're like, they're the ones that need it. Like if you don't need it. If you need it, you won't feel nothing at all. Like if really? you need, yeah, you won't. I mean, you're not I gonna feel that. It. I probably do. But if you don't, yeah, but I mean, I'm definitely ADHD, so I definitely like I cannot focus for shit. Like Riddle I paid in. three thousand dollars for you these would marketing probably, classes. You would look. You would probably take it, and then you'd be like, you know what, boys? I'm I'm, I'm going home. I got I got to write a paper. Yeah, I got to write a. I'm gonna go write I a got, book. I got to go write a book, guys. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a show I next a week. I got a urge to yeah. write a movie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Chris, can I send you something? I've been up all night, bro. I got- <laughs> been up all night. Something clicked in my so brain. So focused right now. It's crazy. It would be unbelievable. Like, I paid $3,000 for these marketing classes, and I've had them for uh, since July, and I'm only halfway through it because it's kind of work at your own pace, and that's how just I cannot focus for more. And it doesn't help that this little habit in my Adderall. pocket. You should start doing Adderall. Yeah, cool. If I, if I, I if my mom found out I just did another, like, substance, she would just – have a heart attack. She's like, "Oh, you'd be doing fucking coke in no time." Bye. Walked in, you just <laughs> popping Adderalls. Yeah. Jeez. Oh Jesus Christ! I well, don't even know what to tell a doctor to get that. Well, I don't know. Can't focus, uh, Doc. I'm tired. Uh, do you think? Uh, what are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds that Brandon Marshall has a successful boxing career? Zero. Zero. I'm gonna go. I mean, with zero I don't know. He, he, like, he looks I mean, like a tall, uncoordinated. He's gonna basket. knock out like. Like the mees, like the mees of the world that went a box too. Yeah, you know I mean? so like he'll win his first one. We'll set For some it up. reason, I thought he was the dude that uh, had the gun that went off, but no, that was Plaxico Burst. I was thinking of. I'm pretty Shot sure. himself in the dick, cheddar bobbed himself. Oh yeah, At my fantasy football team was Plaxico shooting. <laughs> Your fantasy football team <laughs> that's so, a big name, but uh, Brandon Marshall, I don't see him as as anything. I mean, he's a him. raw fucking NFL athlete. He he can definitely knock some people out more than. More than but professional people, but yeah, professional. Oh, unless he gets good, who knows? Maybe he fucking has a jab on him. Yeah, he's, he's got to be decent to want to do it, right? You don't just say you're going to do it unless you have some sort of some kind of. Well, I mean, idea. obviously he's athletically gifted, but you have to. And here's what's crazy is uh, what I love, and I hope this happens more, is more uh, NFL athletes after they finish their NFL career going to fighting because they have been monsters so far. Like 
guys like Brendan Schaub, who was in the NFL for a short time, and also Matt Mitrione, who was on the Giants for a little while, uh, end up fighting. But these guys are just next level athletes. But I mean, you're talking like defensive fucking linebackers, linemen, people like that. He's a wide out. He's yeah, a wide. Yeah. It's still a matter. He's still, still an I mean, freak. a freak athlete. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet he knocks people out, bro. No, nah, I would say knock people out, but he'll he's be, not gonna be he'll fucking be world and, champ. But he'll he's be gonna, long and rangy, and he'll yeah, you know he'll, just step back, pick yeah. people apart. I don't see him having a lot of power, but I mean, just being a freak athlete, and I, people don't understand, especially in boxing, how important footwork is. And I, I mean, he's, if he's a wide receiver, his feet are probably just speed, you know, just fucking quick as shit. He'll he'll do he'll do fine. He'll do fine. Um, but this is a good transition into what's going on in the world today because. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to start with, and I kind of want to go back to shitbag titty fuck of the week because it might be a vegan this week. Yeah, I think our whole show is shitbag titty fuck. Of the I, week. I, ever? I think we should put it at the end. <laughs> Maybe we just re show shitbag we titty do fuck. Do the show, and then at the end we pick who was the biggest shitbag, the one, titty, the biggest fuck. shitbag titty, titty fuck. That's a good point, Chris. Because I mean, yeah, our whole show is shitbag. Yeah, rarely do you have good ideas drunk, but you. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of be make it like a review, right? The show, yeah. Know? Review. We go back. Who was the shit back to him? I I literally just looked at Beaver. I thought he was smoking a joint. He had his hand up to his mouth, I guess. So nah. a vegan claims that sausage roll traumatized her for life. So a vegan claims she was served as pork sausage roll she thought was meat free and says she'll be traumatized for life. Charlene Dungu, <laughs> twenty, said she broke. She's twenty years old, so she's a millennial. Said she broke down in tears and started having heart palpitations once she realized that the ve vegan sausage roll she ordered from the bakery chains Greg's in Kent, England actually contained meat. I haven't had meat in two years. My belly started hurting and my heart started going crazy. You ruined my childhood. I hate this bitch. I hope she gets fucking ovarian cancer. <laughs> <laughs> hater. 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 That's a sweet way to put it. I just, oh my god, I just hate fucking people, man. Like, you're gonna be so dramatic about something that at the end of the day, not a big deal. It's not going to kill you. They ate a little sausage. I'm sure it was an accident. You're fucking vegan. <laughs> I don't know. If, I mean, what would be worse if you're a vegan and you accidentally eat sausage or you're in a dark room with a blindfold on and a girl that's not your wife sucks your dick and your wife nuns out? What's worse? Probably the egg roll, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the vegan sausage, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, probably the egg roll. Your wife's probably like, thank God I now excuse to get a divorce. <laughs> it's his fault now. <laughs> Chris just like burrowed after that. He's like, I'm gonna go read this paper. Are you okay, buddy? He's down. Yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> he needs the Adderall. Oh, he needs the Adderall. Let's get yeah. it out. Maybe I did need it. Um, so I love crime shows and shit, but like when, when something happens close to your home hometown, you get a little freaky. How about the body found in an attic in Shelbyville apartment identify as a man that's been missing since November. So obviously this guy was murdered. So body mm. found in the attic of a Shelbyville apartment Monday morning is that of a man who's been missing for more than 10 months Said police on Tuesday. How did they not smell it in the, Oh, you got to, I don't know. The guy's body had been wrapped up or something. Maybe it tells you in the story, but Shelbyville police department officers respond at 7 31 AM money to an apartment at e Shelby, uh, 14 East Broadway street after maintenance workers found human remains. So maintenance found these people. Uh, Detective Jason Brown said Tuesday, officers then located a dead body in the attic of an apartment unit. The body was identified through dental records as Derek Beagle, 44, who went missing on November 24, 2018 in the 300 block of West Jackson Street in Shelbyville. Brown said there were no signs of foul play surrounding Beagle's disappearance. This is, I mean, fucking weird. An autopsy was performed Tuesday, so we're going to find from the autopsy, of course, what happened to him and how he died. But uh, I mean, if there's it's no by myth, or if, I was say if there's no foul play, what probably had the same thing that I think happened to Lauren Spear, you know, Lauren Spear is right. The chick that disappeared. Yeah. The IU chick overdose on drugs. Friends panicked and hit the body. Yeah, that's that's what I think happened to her. Same thing probably happened here. This guy probably overdosed on drugs. They panic like let's throw him in the attic We're our lease is up in a month anyways. Yeah, nothing. Will, nobody will find him up here. Right. <laughs> We had a, a crime in, time. We had a crime in Nice Town, bro. We had a dude that went in all <laughs> fucked up in Speedway. Yeah, to get, Brian Meth, right? To get money off the ATM. <laughs> yeah. And the ATM wouldn't work there at Speedway in Nice Town. So he got pissed and I guess punched the ATM, then went outside, got in his car, and backed up and slammed into the building like four or five times Let's until go. he until he broke the wall down in the gas station and hit the ATM. So was that the third time you were arrested? Or tried what? To leave. Was that the third time you got arrested? <laughs> yeah. <or>? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's where your laugh is the Joker he, laugh. 
Like, but he why? was he was mad because he couldn't get money out the ATM. Just slam the wall down. God, meth is crazy, dude. <laughs> is that one thing you've done? What well, meth? Never done meth. Okay, uh, this is uh, pretty fucking. If you got any? I try it. I mean, uh, yeah, we do. Around. You're right. Our whole show might be shitbag titty fucks because a feminist win bat a legal battle in Colorado City. Eleven uh, year old girls can now go topless in public. <laughs> Yeah, so feminists are fighting for uh, the rights of 11-year-old girls can now go top lip pop. So the fort, God damn it, pop up, motherfucker. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the Fort Collins City Council agreed earlier this month to remove language from its public nudity code barring girls and women over the age of 10 from going topless in Colorado City. The 2015 policy prohibited women and girls over the age of 10 from exposing their breasts. So that's cool. You know, we have these monumental birthdays. When you're 16, you learn to drive. When you're 21, you can finally drink. You're 18 here in Indiana. You can buy cigarettes, alcohol, 21, strip club. Now when you're 11, you can take off your top in Colorado. Congratulations. Yeah. Colorado. That's great, man. That's yeah. awesome. Take it. Yeah. Fantastic. By the way, if you're a parent of an 11-year-old girl who is allowed to go topless, I want you. I also want you to get ovarian cancer. Even if you're a guy, by the way. Why I don't I'm just I'm so confused right now. <laughs> like why are <laughs> they why on? are they wanting to go? What's topless? the point? So the city yeah. council's decision came in the wake of a three hundred and twenty two thousand dollar lawsuit filed by members of a feminist free ni- free the nipple movement. These mother these fucking bitches. Let me tell you what let me tell you who's a feminist in 2019. It's the fat dikey bitch who hate women, they got fucked over their entire life, and they hate women, or hate, excuse me, they hate men, (laughs) has nothing to do with women's rights because women have the same rights as men, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct? Uh, The page wage, uh, the the pay wage gap is is a complete myth, guys, by the way. All you have to do is look the shit up. It's it's, it's been busted. Uh, I'm not going to get political on the show. Are you okay? No. No. What's going on? Dude, at the golf outing, the other team had a lesbian on it. (laughs) And she was keeping him in it, dude, because she's playing in close tees. Oh, yeah. It like, was hidden. I was she's like, probably that. nailing it. Yeah, and I went, probably a dude. And I got pissed. Training right? update next I got week. Pissed, and I said, I told the fellas, I said, dude, this is bullshit. I said, if, if this is the world we're going to live in, they need to make fucking lesbian tees. You would, bitch, about a dyke out <laughs> they there. They need to make Fuck lesbian tees. Lesbian tees. That's fair. Or they women's, between women and lesbians, men. Lesbians. And then uh, seniors, maybe. And then the pros. Yeah. Good call. Good call, Chris. But, yeah. uh, I agree. Chris is the shit back titty fuck this week. <laughs> I love it, Chris. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, completely absurd. The best part is here. They have a video of uh, what appears to be a young girl who is topless with a sign over her tits. Yeah, Illegal I don't think I'd play remove. that. I'm not going to play that. Yeah, because I'm sure the uh, I'm sure I'd have the CIA and the FBI over here. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably something you don't want. This is fucked up. It's a highly inappropriate first for uh, doing child pornography. (laughs) (laughs) Congratulations. Yeah, who the fuck had that in their notes? Yeah, stupid. So um, they actually use these girls to uh, promote their legislation. So what, like I said earlier, what a great time to be alive, guys. You know, (laughs) it's just fucked up. Uh, Maybe my favorite story of the... Uh, of the week is definitely the guy who is blaming Apple for turning him gay. Did you see this? He's suing Apple Uh-oh. for turning him gay. How do you, oh, how? I need to. Uh... <laughs> well, Chris, are you ready to find out? Yeah, I got questions. No, got questions. Just... Man sues Apple claiming <laughs> iPhone turned him gay. A Russian man has launched a lawsuit against Apple claiming an iPhone app turned him gay. So he actually it downloaded a grinder his... instead of Tinder. Yeah, great job. boy sucked his dick. Sounds like this day. It's like, man, I got on grinder, thought this was the chick, came over, had a penis, he sucked my dick. I've loved it, and I'm gay ever since. Yeah, fuck you, iPhone. And we do want to welcome Beaver back to the show, by the way. How's but, it going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says this comes after an incident involving gay coin cryptocurrency. How do you Collect gay coin on your phone, not know it. So has there's to do straight with and gay. I didn't even gay coin was a thing. What can you buy with gay coin? A, you a mission to a bathhouse, maybe. A bathhouse. What's a bathhouse? You've never heard of a gay bathhouse? <laughs> I have not. They literally have these gems. <laughs> this is a true story, okay. and I only know about it because I work with a gay guy, and he told me about them. Yeah. And, 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 like and I went there too. one time. He invited for, you? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I was like, I'll check it out, bro. Yeah, Gotta experiment. Oh, just a bit. bunch of gay dudes jerking off. Let's go. Yeah, so no, but seriously, it's literally like a private gym for gay dudes, and they go there. They have viewing rooms where guys can beat off and watch porn, just work out, like a bunch of just gay dudes walking just around naked, gay stuff. just doing gay shit. Yeah. It's like it's like a weekend at Beaver's house, <laughs> <laughs> like Mac would go there. Yeah, from Always Sunny. 
I don't watch that show, but yeah, I sure. Know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great, bud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the guy said that he suffered more harm. He was asking for one million rub rubles. Rubles is that their fucking currency? According rubies? to a copy of the yeah rubies, uh, he's in the Legend of Zelda. Homosexuality was dis decriminalized in Russia. <laughs> I can't believe that being gay was actually a crime. Not in America, you can't. You know, at one point, what, you in get Russia. Married. Yeah, I mean, I'm not well, surprised. I can, I, I'm not. It's yeah, I'm not surprised. Russia. I'm not. So it's just crazy to think about the fact that if you were found to be gay, imagine. I'm just picturing, imagine like this, you know, Russian police officer just comes in, you know, the Russian police officers have the sawed off fucking, uh, they, well, basically an AK-47 without the stock. They have those little guns. They just walk in, seeing a dude suck another dude off, and they just shoot him in the fucking head. That's Russia for you. That's Believe communism. It. That's what Bernie Sanders wants for America, guys. <laughs> That's why we're banned in China. That's why we're banned in China. No, we're the number one podcast in China, but seriously, this is so this guy claims... <laughs> I'm fucked up. This guy claims the gay coin turned him gay, which I don't understand. So uh, so what happened? In a suit filed on 20th, uh, 20th September this year, it's claimed a cryptocurrency called gay coin was delivered via a smartphone app rather than a Bitcoin he had ordered. Cryptocurrency is basically gay virtual coin. money, like an online version of cash, blah, blah, blah. According to the complaint, the gay coin cryptocurrency arrived with a note saying, don't judge, don't judge until you try. I thought, in truth, how can I judge something without trying? I decided to, I tried to try same sex. By the way, if I ever got any gay coin at all, it's not going to make me say, man, I should really suck a dick today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, where are we at? Oh, what's going on here? This is such bullshit. You know what's going to happen? This guy's going to win. He's going to win. That's that's a, that's where we live now. I mean, that's, a, that's the world we live in. So you're today. saying he's got better than a 50% chance to oh. win this. So you're saying there's a chance because now I have a boyfriend. I do not know how to explain this to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He adds that his life has been changed for the worse and he will never become normal again. Hey, by the way, dude, your boyfriend can read this story. Okay. You're, you're breaking his heart, man. Apple pushed him towards homosexuality through manipulation. He claims the changes have, if I'm a judge, I'm literally reading this and ripping it up and say, get the fuck fuck out of my courtroom but there's people that are literally gonna take it seriously what a time to be alive guys what a fucking time i it's amusing thank god this is real because we would not have we would not have a show without it but uh, speaking of us being the number one podcast here in not only carthage but we're now the number one podcast in china Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. Which brings me to our main story of the week is South Park is now banned from China. Did Beaver, you didn't see the last episode. You did. We won't give too much details, but it was incredible. They basically make fun of how uh, everybody tries to man or manipulate, not manipulate, but they try to cater their audience towards China. What would China like? Is this acceptable in China? That's it's where the money is. That's where the money is, apparently. So we're now the number one podcast in China. We're no longer using profanity. We can't talk about uh, homosexuals. I think, no I think profanity updates. is allowed. Profanity is allowed. We can't talk about trannies, though. That's completely no. it. No. Uh, I don't know. You might. Trannies profanities, off. And profanities. Profanities and trannies. Profanities and trannies. Profanities and trannies. Yeah. Profanities and trannies. That's, that's another one of the freaky words there, Beaver. Profanities and trannies. You're right. That's rap. That's, that's rap. right. That's a bar. Man, Beaver, that's a bar right there. Beaver might be a rapper. <laughs> you and Beaver <laughs> should rap battle on the show. I would destroy him. I, I can't you, rap. I think you both shit. suck, but... <laughs> So South Park is scrubbed from Chinese internet after a critical episode. After the ban in China episode mocked Hollywood for shaping its content to please the Chinese government, Beijing has responded by deleting all clips, episodes, and discussions of the Comedy Central show. This is incredible. The most recent episode of South Park, Ban in China, has been generating land, uh, loads of media attention for its sharp critique of the way Hollywood tends to shape its content and avoid offending Chinese government censors in any way whatsoever. I love this is why I fucking love South Park because they do not give a fuck about anybody. They'll go after anybody. How great is it that Comedy Central let them do it? Oh, me too. The only time that it's ever pissed me off that Comedy Central decided to fold for somebody was when they picture Muhammad and the like Muhammad they, episode. Yep. That pissed me off. I'm like, why did you you should have said fuck these motherfuckers and just went ahead and well, pretty much, it's they went at Disney too a lot in the episode. Well, oh, I love that. Yeah. Because I mean, everything else was Disney. Like, the by NBA. the way, can, can we give a shout out to oh. Rob? Uh, I think Rob is being paid by Disney, their new fucking streaming service that's coming out because he keeps saying it's gonna, you know, fuck over Netflix. I'm hopeful that he's getting paid for something right now. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, thanks for listening, buddy. We appreciate you, man. You're one of our favorite listeners. 
Well, he, he needs that money for all the Pacer games that he's going to be uh, attending. I know. Are you going to go? I'm excited. I'm going to be at least going opening night. I will be going then. It's Pistons, right? Yep. Right. Uh, Wednesday, October 23rd. Looking forward to it. Brago, going to be awesome. TJ so, Warren. So every week we have a segment. It's our favorite. It's a Florida man. So what I do, Mitcho, just go straight to Google, type in a Florida man, whatever pops up, pops up, and we're going to talk about it. And this week, it's fucking absolutely electric because I can honestly see in me and Chris Dunkman uh, doing something like this. A Florida man was arrested for trying to get an alligator drunk. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. How do you get an alligator? How do you get close enough to an alligator? Is he just eat, the whole fucking he just bottle. Yeah, just eating the right? fucking bottles yeah, like Pac Man. I know. You just imagine just setting bottles out and he's just sitting there chomping the fucking bottles. I know the next time we go to the Everglades or where we'll have to ask that. Have you ever tried to get an alligator drunk? Well, we'll have we'll have to try to find that one that one dude that uh we went river boating yeah with, he was next level he right said there. we could bring alcohol the next time so maybe. yeah that was inc- we should have brought alcohol that time yeah you we must ran- come along and uh try to get an alligator why are you going on vacation because i have a brilliant idea for a vacation by the way i, mean, I, I just don't want <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't you'll know. probably be divorced by him, be right. be honest. so he's waiting for that divorce so about the, how this how this florida man got the alligator drunk a florida man was reportedly arrested for trying to get an alligator drunk after his pal captured the reptile timothy kepke 27 of hobo sound well, well hope sound hope sound is the name of a town allegedly fed some beer to the animal which also bit him <laughs> Well, of course he did. You got fucking close to an alligator, you dumbass. This motherfucker that we were on the boat with was talking about swimming with alligators. Would jump in the I'm like what? What kind of what kind of backwards piss drinking motherfucker are you jumping in a, a river with an alligator? Apparently, it's something that they do down there. They just, just don't go care. With alligators, it's like fuck it, this thing can eat me. I'm gonna get in here with it. So uh, moments earlier, Kepke told police Noah Osborne, 22, caught the alligator with his bare hands. The report said Kepke told authorities, "See, these are these are." Backroads motherfuckers told authorities he had consumed a few beers that no shit, but claimed he wasn't intoxicated during the incident. <laughs> we would definitely be intoxicated doing this for sure. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh, you yeah. gotta be drunk if you only get an alligator. After the beer feeding, which was recorded, the duo released the animal back to the wild. Uh, it's on pictures. These guys putting this shit on Instagram, and then they come to capture this because apparently the guy on the because I took a picture of this alligator like pretending to bite his head off, and the guy was at me. He's like, "Do not post that anywhere." And I was like, "He did tell us not to post any any that we took with the little baby alligator." Yeah, because we weren't supposed to. Uh, so not only did we post the picture of me holding the baby alligator, but I told the story on now multiple podcasts. So cool. <laughs> Pretty sure I put my po- my picture up there too. Your so. pussy. You put your pussy. Yeah, you put your pussy. Yeah, yeah, pussy. That's the same. That's where Snapchat me that pussy originated. <laughs> Snapchat me that pussy. <laughs> Snapchat me that pussy uh, originated, by the way. So, guys, thank you so much for listening to Highly Inappropriate. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes. You can also listen on SoundCloud. You can also listen on iHeartRadio. Soon coming to Spotify. I'm waiting for approval. Might not. We're kind of offensive. We'll see how that goes. Chris, are you okay? What are yeah. you looking at? It's trying to see what song you're getting ready to play. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's a fucking secret. Look, no, look, bitch. Okay, so, um, yeah. Yeah, so where was I at? Okay, subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes. Make sure you follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's slash Highly Inappropriate Podcast. Add the S on Facebook because our original fucking page got deleted because Facebook's a bunch of fucking cunts. Try to get on Pornhub. Try to get on Pornhub. That's probably coming soon. So thank (laughs) you guys so much for listening to Highly Inappropriate. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and play. It's a song 